Hey everybody, it's Steve Luckner, Luckner Channel. I hope you can hear me. I'm using the new microphone. We'll see if it works. Uh, major life change discussion possibility tonight. Uh, thinking of a major life change. Uh, why not discuss it with you guys and get your advice? You've been so good with all your advice about uh, setting up the, uh, the, 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 stu the vlogging stuff and the equipment. I'm going to run it by you. I'd like to hear what you think about this possibility. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, I'm so happy to have you with us, and I'm going to give a sec so people can actually join the stream, and I'm going to say hello and thank you to everybody out there. We got our moderators. Uh, we got Garth Russell. We got Michael B. We got Idaho Star. Uh, and uh, moderating there. And um, we also have, uh, oh, everybody, Berlinda and Flatfoot in the chat room and uh, New F Dog, everybody, Julie Grays, Rita Lamar, all the people watching in the chat room. And hey, if you're watching this, if you're a new viewer, uh, I do a lot of my streams live. See, I don't explain this to people at the start of the broadcast and they're like, what's going on? I do a lot of my streams live, so you should subscribe. Uh, and click the notifications bell and choose all notifications so you can know when we're coming on the air live so you can be in the live chat and participate in the live chat like all these fine people are doing. All right, so we're here. Uh, we're going to discuss this this thing. Now, now, don't give me your opinion yet. And you, you need to hear... You need to hear my, 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 my pros and cons. You need to hear why I'm thinking to do this. It's, it does you no good. It doesn't do any of us any good if you give your opinion now because you don't know why I'm considering doing this. So wait till I consider, to, till I explain it to you. And then, then I'd love to hear what you think. I'm sure some of you do this. So I, I'd be very interested in hearing what you think. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I switched up. We hit, we switched, I think I switched up the blue and the pink, the blue and the purple. I didn't mean to do it, but whatever. Uh, it's, it's, it's different tonight, so fine. Is it too even back there? Is it too even? It's kind of even. <laughs> uh, uh, but, but, I mean, it seems... Is it, is it too even is my question. I can make a slight adjustment back there. Let's see what people say. People are saying it's, it looks okay to them. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it up there. Fine. I'll leave it up. I do want to do this, though. Let me just um, get the chat in its own kind of box here. That'll make things easy for me. All right, and the sound, people are saying the sound is okay. Supposedly the sound is okay, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see what people say about that. Uh, 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 how does the audience find the sound right now? This is the first, the first uh, full broadcast with the new microphone. Okay, sound is okay, wonderful, good. You know, last night, um, so, uh, so this is the first. Uh, this is the this is the first broadcast with a new microphone, which I love. Oh, and bef before now, I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna get into the cooking thing really, uh, really quickly. But just just so people know, uh, this is the first uh, full broadcast with the blue uh, blackout microphone. If you didn't see it last night, uh, you can go check out. Uh, check out the, um, I'm pointing to the link, which I'll stick in after the broadcast. Check out the broadcast we did last night, which is I did the unboxing for this product, uh, and uh, I'm liking it. And if you go back, I went back today, and I compared what it sounded like before the microphone and after the microphone, and I think it's a gigantic difference. So I'm, I'm quite happy with the difference. Let me see if I turn on the sound here for one second. Phone and after the microphone. Why can't I hear this? Let's see. Is there a reason? Oh, I bet I know. This always does this. Here it is. Let me, let me, let me hear myself for one second here. Always does this. Good. I seem to be coming out fine. Okay. So, so, the, so the mic is here. I'm very happy. And, um, and the mic has been great. Oh, and also one more update until, before we get to our, our actual topic. One more. The, the thing is, what I can, t I, you know, I, I often have different things to talk about. And there's often things I need to catch you up on before we get to the actual topic. So it's just the problem is for people who are, I apologize to people who might not be familiar with the channel, who might have done a search. Maybe there's somebody out there watching this video. Who, they're prob they probably stopped watching by now. Uh, who typed in, should I cook for myself? And they're like, oh, here's a, um, 
here's a uh, like-minded person who's considering the same question. They, then they tune into the video and it takes forever to get to the actual uh, discussion. So I apologize, but this is what we do here. Um, but I do want to catch you up on one thing about the microphone, which is if you remember last night with the microphone, what happened is uh, I bought this microphone uh, from Best Buy and then I saw it on Amazon for like $3 less but I couldn't stop. I couldn't cancel the order from Best Buy, so so I just I just kept the order, and then Best Buy uh, refunded me the three dollars. But then last night when we did the stream, a couple of people told me that both Amazon and Best Buy were selling the microphone for eighty nine ninety nine, which is like eighteen dollars less than I had bought it for, or twenty dollars less than I bought it for. So I wrote to Best Buy, and the Best Buy. They did price match. They price matched. Uh, they actually overcompensated me because they like forgot they gave me three dollars for the first Amazon price match, and then they gave me twenty dollars back for the second price match. And I'm gonna I'm such an honest person that even though it might mess the whole thing up. Uh, I told them afterwards, I said, hey, you might have given me $3 too much because remember you gave me $3 for the Amazon price match. And now my worry is that I, I was going to not tell them. To, I, I, I always give, I always am honest about this stuff, but I was going to not tell them because I figured it's just going to mess them up. And then they'll say, oh, you can't have two price matches on one product. So I haven't heard back from them yet. So I'm hoping I hear back from them. They're just like, don't worry about it. But, but they did for now. They have credited my account the price match, so I only paid $89.99 for the microphone. So yay, yay us. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's good that, they, that they, uh, they, they price match. All right, so anyways, so, so, so you're caught up on the microphone. All right, so let's, let's get into this. Let's get into this, and uh, I, I really, um, yeah, no, and Ace Freely says you gave them free advertising. Yes, I thought of that. Uh, certainly, I think I gave them free advertising, uh, Best Buy. I showed their link on the air, but I'm honest about this kind of stuff. Look, if I'm at like a restaurant and they, they undercharge me like a dollar or whatever, I'm the kind of person who like, I feel weird if I don't tell them like, hey, you didn't charge me for my drink or whatever. It's usually not a drink because I don't order a drink, but you know, you didn't charge me for my extra protein or whatever. It's just the way I am. So, uh, so there you go. Okay. Okay, now let's see here. Uh, okay, it's time to start. You know what I realized though? Hang on, I forgot my water. Let me grab my water bottle. Give me one second. I'm grabbing my water bottle. That's the one thing I didn't do before the start of the broadcast. Okay, we're, 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 getting, in, we're getting into the topic. Honey Badger, why do you keep complaining? I'm timing you out. Honey Badger, I just timed you out. Honey, Honey Badger just said, sounds like crap again. Turn the new mic on. Now, I, learned, I just listened to the broadcast and it sounded fine. Now, I don't know if Honey Badger is intentionally trolling, but I just timed Honey Badger out because I didn't have the patience for it anymore. So, Honey Badger, if you weren't trolling, I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're listening to. I just, I don't have the patience for it. So, there you go. My gosh. Twice in 15 seconds, he complains about the sound. Unbelievable. All right, so I really, uh, so, so, but this is a case where I, I thought, I want to explain, I'm going to have to explain a bit. So I know, if I, I know if you read the topic, should I learn to cook for myself, possible major life change, you probably had a thought of whether I should or I shouldn't. But I have some kind, I want to explain to you why, I'm think, why I don't do it and why I'm thinking of do it, doing it, okay? Because that might not be, you know, why you do it or don't do it. Okay, so let me, um, let me, uh, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Country Road Entertainment. Country Road Entertainment says, I love that you vlog now, but thank you. Although I hate the word vlog, but thank you, Country Road Entertainment. So uh, thank you. I appreciate, Eddie, your support. Eddie makes a lot of videos on his channel, Country Road Entertainment, about country music, if you like country music. Uh, so here is, and again, I, I just, just hear me out and, and I'll explain the kind of things I would make. So here, let me begin. So first of all, first of all, I like going out to eat. Uh, especially, I like that it like gets me out of wherever I am. So when I used to work at an office, which I obviously don't now, I would like going out. To, I didn't want to eat at the office. I wanted to go out. I wanted to get away. I just, I like the physical act of getting out. Uh, I think it's good. Uh, similarly, 
by the way, similarly, uh, am I too bright? I can lower the brightness. I don't have the light on that much. Am I like looking crazy bright right now? No, I think it looks fine. Let me know if you think I'm crazy bright, but I just looked at the screen. But I, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming the, the lighting is, is acceptable. Let me put it that way. Uh, let's see. Oh, hold on. I got, I'm going to I'm gonna have to time somebody else out. I'm going to have to time somebody else out. Stephen Herms is trolling. Stephen Herms, you've been warned. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Um, so, uh, uh, all right. So, so, so I like, so that's, that's number one is I, I like going out to eat, getting out from where I am. Uh, now, especially now I work at home because I do, you know, my channels, my agenda free TV in this channel, it's all at home. So I really like eating out because it, you know, it's like, it might be the one time of the day that I actually am able to leave the building. So, so I like that part about it. Also, like I'm not an expensive eater. Um, so this isn't a budgetary thing. I'm not, I'm not considering cooking for myself, which some people do. And I totally understand it. Uh, you know, you can eat cheap, cheaper. I think if you cook for yourself, but I'm not that expensive an eater anyway. So, so that's, that's not factoring into my equation, uh, kind of like relative expense. I, I think it wouldn't be that much different for me to cook at home versus, versus eat out. So, so, so put that to the side. Uh, so, so the, the plus is I like eating out. Okay. Um, and another, an, an, a plus, the plus is I like getting out. Another plus is like, I'm busy. I mean, a lot of you are busy as well. Uh, and also, you know, I'm, 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 I'm always on call for covering breaking news. So I, I don't, I don't like the idea of like spending lots of time dealing with cooking and stuff because, you know, I, for all I know, I'm cooking something and then breaking news happens while, while I'm cooking something. So, so you know, going out to eat, uh, if I walk somewhere and I get there and there's a breaking news story, I can just not eat and come back home. Uh, you know, uh, so, so in, in, in the food is, I don't have to sit there and wait 45 minutes for the food to cook. I get there, I order and they give it to me. So, so given that I'm kind of always on call with work, uh, that's another advantage of going out to eat versus cooking at home. Uh, so, so, so that's, so those are, those are two reasons. Those are two reasons, two reasons I like going out to eat. One is to get out of the house, uh, or get out of wherever I'm working at, but for me, it's the house. Uh, and two is it, uh, t timing. It's usually, I go somewhere, it's quick. I don't have to worry about the cooking. I save that, you know, they, they, they cook it, they give it to me. <laughs> it doesn't take a long time. So there's that. So there's those two reasons. So you might say like, well, Steve, Steve, then, then what's the problem? What, what's your big problem? Uh, why not just keep going out to eat? Well, here's the problem is the food. <laughs> the problem is the food. Um, so uh, I like to eat. I, want, I don't want to be, uh, so I like to eat healthy, but it doesn't mean like I'm eating like, like you know, like, like, uh, like lettuce and wheat all day or something like that. Like I eat meat uh, and I also, I'll eat, I, I like having something for lunch that's kind of like, it's not, like I can't just eat like a piece of plain grilled chicken. Like, like I won't, I won't get enough energy from that. So uh, I need to eat something a little more like substantial, maybe something with some fat in it. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, and um, so, so, but the problem is where I am now, where I, I'm in Atlanta right now, and maybe it's different some places, but the here the food is the what's really driving this is the food. The food is driving this. Um, I don't want to go eat junk food, so I don't want to eat fast food. I don't want to go eat pizza. So rule that out. I don't eat. I don't really eat fried food. So rule all of that out. Uh, I don't want to eat fancy. There's tons of fancy places in Atlanta. Uh, I can't afford it, and I don't even like it. So I don't want to eat fancy. Um, so if you rule out fancy and you rule out junk food, there's not very much left. Like, like it's, it's weird. It's like, there's, there's no casual places. There's a Chipotle near here. The Chipotle near here is, is awful. It's terrible. And I've, I've actually eaten Chipotles. There are certain Chipotles that are pretty decent. You have to find them in different places. The Atlanta airport Chipotle, for some reason, is, is like the best one in the world. Don't ask me why. But the Chipotle near me, the quality of the food is, is terrible. Uh, it's just bad. I don't like eating there. Uh, and I've eaten Chipotle enough. I get sick of it. So, 
you know, uh, there's certain places I've lived where I found these places to eat that they weren't overly fancy, they weren't junk food. Uh, you know, it's, it's, that's kind of what I'm looking at. And you say, you might say, Steve, what, what do you like to eat? What do you want to eat for lunch? If I can get like a bowl with meat or chicken and vegetables in it, that's what I want. I want a bowl of meat or chicken and vegetables, good quality, tasty. If you could, there, there's certain, and, and like I've eaten before, like, uh, you know, when, when I used to live in Roswell, Georgia, there was like a, a Chinese place, a Chinese slash Thai place, and they would cook up like a chicken and vegetables kind of dish, and it wasn't like crazy unhealthy. But that's, that's all I need for lunch. That's all I need for lunch. Um, you know, chicken, beef, or shrimp, or some combination of that in a bowl with vegetables, good quality, not super fancy. And you just, it's like impossible to find that. You can't find it. Every place is either junk food or really bad quality meat or just insanely expensive. Um, and, and, and then like they put all crazy, like if you go to an expensive place, they put like crazy sauce on it and stuff or it's fried. That's all I want. And, and I've been frustrated because I've been thinking like I've lived in this, this area in, in, in Atlanta like for like over a year and a half now. And I've tried all these different places. And it's like it's just so hard to find a simple, good, basic place where I can get a bowl of good, fresh vegetables with beef and chicken and some sort of flavor in it uh, that's decent quality for not an insane amount of money. That's all I want. And then finally, it hit me in the last couple days. Well... Could you just make that yourself? Are, are you talking about the kind of thing that if that's what you want, if that's what you like for lunch, could you just make that yourself? So that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Um, so, so yeah, so, so, so this is what I want to ask you about. This is what I want to ask you about. Oh, by the way, thank you, Ginger Yayu. Ginger Yayu says, toward your next cooking endeavor. Thank you, Ginger Yayu. Well, look, let me say this. I shouldn't say this before because it'll it'll motive it'll swing you one way or the other. But if I do start cooking for myself, I certainly plan to broadcast it. Uh, believe me, I'd be doing streams on it. Um, but yeah, so so that's this is what I'm looking for. Uh, when I say should I learn to cook for myself, I'm, I have a very specific kind of food. Uh, it's my lunch meal. It's some kind of bowl with chicken or beef, maybe some shrimp, who knows, uh, and some vegetables. Uh, and it has some sort of flavor and it's, it's good quality stuff. Um, here's the thing though. It can't take forever to prepare. Remember, I cover, I have to check Twitter right now. For all I know, there's a big breaking news story going on. Is there? Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, yeah. So, but you know, I, I can't be spending hours and hours preparing something. I don't have the time. Um, I'm always on call for news coverage. So if I'm going to do this, it's got to be something where uh, it doesn't take overly long to do. Um, so, so that's, that, that's, so now I'm guessing a lot of, somebody mentioned, somebody in the chat mentioned stir fry. Uh, I, years ago, like when I was in college, right out, right when I was in college, I did learn how to stir fry it, fry a bit. And I totally forget how. So, so, so given, given everything I've told you, I guess what I would like to know from you is, uh, do you think I should cook for myself? Do you think I should learn to cook for myself? Uh, is this kind of thing I saying I like, uh, is that doable? Um, also, remember this. Like, it shouldn't be the case. It's, it's, if I have to go out every morning and buy the ingredients for my lunch, like, and I have to take an extra hour a day to do that, that's not good. If I can go buy stuff for like several days in advance and it's simple to buy the meat and stuff, that's different. So, so these are some of the factors too, uh, you know. So anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the comments now. I'm, I'm sure some people have been leaving comments, but I wanna hear what you think about this. What do you think? Uh, let's see here. Um, and uh, I'm just going back in the comments here. Uh, a bunch of people are saying I should do it. Uh, James 1-1 says stir fry would take 15 to 20 minutes. That's what James 1-1 says. Okay. Um, uh, Ginger Yayu says stir fry with a little oil and you're good. 
Carol reads there says there are some really great pre-made frozen dinners. I'd ra but I'd rather just cook the stuff fresh. I'd rather cook the stuff fresh. I should I, you know I should I should I should make that put that out there. I want stuff that I can cook fresh. Um, Wellness Sarah says Instapot for veggies and chicken beef. But wouldn't that, I mean, and just also can make bone broth. But this, this sounds like a thing that's going to take a lot of time, wouldn't it? Uh, bone broth in Instapot? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I know nothing about it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Flatfoot says I should probably just stop eating. Uh, oh my God! Why, Wendy? Wendy, what are you talking? Why do we have so many trolls in here tonight? It's crazy. I just timed out Wendy. Wendy, just ridiculous. Gosh. Uh, let's see. Cheryl Blake says Instapot is dump and go. But remember, remember the kind of thing. Uh, Cheryl Sibson says get a walk and buy some veggies. Todd McCarty says, start with three days a week. We're cooking for myself. Well, I, I would start with like one day a week. Uh, let's see. What is Instapot? Okay, hold on. I got to look up Instapot on the air because people are mentioning Instapot and I don't know what they're talking about. So let's look up Instapot, shall we? Let's see what it is. Instapot. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for a page that explains what an Instapot is. What is Instapot? What is an Instant Pot? Three things you should know before ever using an Instant Pot. 13 things you should know. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What is an Instant Pot exactly? An Instant Pot is a pressure cooker, slow cooker, rice cooker, and yogurt maker. Okay, fine. I don't even know what any of that stuff means. The cooking time depends on you. It'll cook a massive chunk of meat fast. 40 to 90 minutes? See, that's too long for me. I can't, I, I don't have 90 minutes to cook lunch. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. Like, I might be covering a news story, and then bam, the news story ends, and I want to quick make something quick and eat. 90 minutes. Moonshine Fuel says that's not fast. Yeah, again, in theory, if I'm going to cook for myself, it needs to be something I can do like I wrap up covering some live stream and I say, okay, I want to eat now. Uh, I need to cook something in like the next half an hour. Okay, let's see here. No, ramen, some people suggested ramen noodles and instant steaks, minute steaks. No, I do, those, those I don't consider really healthy choices for me. So those are out. Steakums, no, it's, it's got to be more healthy than that. Let's see here. Oh, can I slow the chat room? Am I supposed to slow the chat room? I can put this. I can put the chat in slow mode. Is the chat too fast? Uh, Tania Henry says, "Can I do a prep day?" No. I, I if I cook for myself, I don't want there to be lots of prep. It's just given my lifestyle that that can't be the case. I don't have the time to do it. Yes, what people want slow mode. I'm hearing a lot of votes for slow mode. Let me see what people say about slow mode. Rita Lamar says, healthy takes time and effort. Probably going to need to stick to eating out. It's 50-50 on slow mode. So I'm going to wait to see what the moderators say. The moderators can decide whether we need slow mode. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to defer to the moderators. Ruben and Linda Belk are there. 
Linda Belk says uh, stir fry is fast and healthy. What about stir fry? Why I, I I would have thought more of you would have said stir fry. Let's look up let's up, let's let's look up stir fry. How to stir fry? Okay, we're gonna do some research here. You're gonna do some research along with me. How to stir fry? How to make stir fry? Better homes and gardens. All right, let's look at this. Let's see if this meets my needs. Let's mute it first of all. Mute tap. Do you like takeout? but not the extra cash I don't, and calories. Well, that's not what I'm caring about, really. Learn to make stir-fry at home for a meal and fresh meal and fast. Okay, fine. Uh, you can get the same taste experience once you learn how to make stir-fry at home. It will convince you that the classic Asian cooking method can and should be part of your weekly dinner meal plan. Hang on one second here. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Uh... Give me one second here. Hang on. Uh, oh, thank you, by the way, to uh, thank you to um, Ginger Yayu. Ginger Yayu says, Steve, you're going to have some prep work, but it doesn't have to be too complex. OK, OK. Thanks for your support, Ginger Yayu. My my mind is open about that. All right. So let's see what they say about stir fry. Um, with oodles of vegetables, all right, I want vegetables, lean cuts of meat, all right, well, you know I want meat and vegetables, and a splash of stir-fry sauce. This is, I'm liking this so far. I'm liking this so far. This customizable cooking method is not only easy to make nutritious, but it's also a brilliant way to use those bits of ingredients left over previous meals. Well, I don't care about that. A few asparagus spears, a cup of diced chicken, and a handful of sliced carrots can become mouth-watering dinner if you follow our tips and trips for how to make good stir-fry. So what exactly does it mean to stir-fry? It's a technique of quickly cooking small uniform pieces of food in a little oil, hot oil in a wok or large skillet over medium-high heat. Sounds simple enough. We love it for highlighting vegetables in particular as the cooking style helps them retain their color, crunch, and nutrients. Okay, do I need a wok? If you plan to do a lot of stir frying, you might need to invest in a wok. Uh, blah, 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 blah. If you don't own a wok, you can use a skillet. Um, okay, so if, I won't worry about if I need a wok right now. How to choose ingredients, oil. Uh, peanut oil is ideal for stir fry. Okay, fine. Fresh vegetables. All right, so you, all right, this is going to tell me what I need to stir fry. This is going to tell me how to do it. You need some oil. It's easy enough to get some oil. Fresh vegetables, uh, bell peppers, zucchini, carrots, broccoli, yellow or white onions, green onions. So I can just go to the grocery and buy a bunch of vegetables. Okay, fine. Um, and you can also use a 16-ounce bag of frozen stir fry vegetables. Haha. Uh -huh. How about that? Uh, okay, proteins. Choose tender, quick-cooking meats and seafood such as chicken breasts, shrimp, scallops, lean and boneless pork, sirloin steak, blah, 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 blah. Stir-fry sauce. Ready-to-use stir-fry sauces can be found in the supermarket. Okay. Nuts. Many stir-fries benefit from the extra flavor and texture of walnuts, halves, pole peanuts, or cashews. Fine. How to stir-fry to prep ingredients. Okay. This, so this is, this is looking decent so far. Okay. Um... Before you start cooking, prepare all your ingredients and place them in bowls near your cooktop so you can focus on how to cook stir-fry without stressing, without stressing about little prep steps. The heat is high, so the process goes quickly. So you have to slice the meat up into bite-sized pieces. Okay, fine. Uh, chop the vegetables into bite-sized pieces. Mix the stir-fry sauce or measure the bottled stir-fry sauce. Measure any nuts. Uh, I won't deal with rice. Don't need to deal with rice. Uh, many stir, okay, get cooking, get cooking. Many stir fry recipes for main dishes follow similar steps. Once you've keyed this process, keyed this process, it's easy to turn whatever produce looks freshest at the market into a satisfying main dish with or without meat. How to cook stir fry entrees. Here you go. To make a stir fry dinner, use these general steps, which differ slightly from when you're stir frying vegetables for a side dish. Heat one tablespoon oil in a 12 inch skillet or wok over medium high heat until the oil simmers. Well, that's easy. Maybe add the garlic if using won't you use garlic? Uh, add the vegetables. Cook stirring constantly with a wooden spoon or, or heat-proof silicone spatula uh, for two to four minutes, or until the vegetables are crisp tender. Remove the vegetables from the pan. If needed, add more oil. Then add the meat. Cook and stir until the meat is cooked through. Okay. Push the cooked meat from the skillet from from the center up the sides of the wok or skillet. 
add the sauce to the center of the skillet, cook and serve the sauce until bubbly, return all vegetables to the skillet, cook and stir everything about one minute more or until the meat and vegetables are coated with sauce and heated through. Now spr sprinkle individual servings with chopped nuts, right, fine, and that's it. I mean, seems doable. Seems like you buy some chicken breast or some sirloin steak and some veggies and you cut them up and you get some oil and stir fry sauce and you, and you cook it up, right? No? Um, ginger, yeah, you, uh, sorry. Moonshine Fuel says it's too complicated. All right, what do you guys, what, what do you guys think of the stir fry? I'm going to go back in the, comics and the comments and see what you said about this. Allison says frozen veggies are awesome. No prepping. I didn't realize you could buy like a bag of frozen stir fry vegetables. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, somebody said just, uh, Oh, hi, Leanne says just buy bags of frozen vegetables you like and add your favorite meat. Okay. Dan patch video says a good, need a good sharp knife. Start with, Tion says, start with frozen vegetables and store sauce. Too easy. Can upgrade later if liked. Okay. Uh, C. Michelle Sparks says, cook faster in a wok. Ray says, chicken is tricky to cook. Okay. Grand D says, Steve stir fry maintains the nutrients. That is important. Uh, I hear Cricket says you can buy the meat cut up and marinated if you don't want to do that part yourself. Well, I don't mind cutting up the meat. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, this sees... Linda says chicken is easy. This, this seems like something I could try, right? This seems like something I could try and see how it goes. Because, because I could, I mean, I could just, I could just buy the vegetables and a couple chicken breasts and like keep them here. I wonder how long do chicken breasts last? <laughs> how far, how long in advance can you buy a chicken breast? How long do chicken breasts last? Stay fresh. One to two days. See, so you got to buy it like the day you're going to eat it or something. That's a problem. Do you freeze them? Oh, and the, I guess you could put them in the fridge, but then you got to defrost them. BK says, take out the night before. Yeah, the, oh, cut up and freeze? Freeze them for nine months by frozen? You can freeze them. Yeah, but if I freeze them, don't I have to defrost them? See, rem remember, guys, part of the reason, I, when I, if I cook for myself, um, you know, I might be a case where, where like I finished doing a news stream and I'm like, I got to, I want to eat now because I don't know if some news is going to happen in an hour. So the idea that every day I would have to go buy chicken breast from the market and bring it back and then cook it. That's like a big process. That's all that, that's too long a process. Mike, oh, Dan, some people are saying microwave defrost, microwave defrost. People are saying. Okay, that's interesting. Blue Chainsaw Man says, doesn't have to be bought freshly from store every day. Hmm. April says, don't microwave, that's disgusting. Tony says, no microwave. Liz says, pull from freezer and put in fridge ahead of time, then pull out of fridge when ready to cook. I will say this. Um, it's certainly like, like from, it seems like a lot of you have experience with this stuff. Uh, no one is saying like, here is this super easy solution to your problems. Uh, there's nothing super easy there. Uh, this would be, e it seems like the stir fry would be a pretty easy solution if I didn't, if, if like, if you could buy chicken and keep it in the fridge for a week, uh, this would be like an easy solution for me. Uh, the problem is if the chicken only lasts one or two days, 
then, well, but then I just, I mean, it's just, you got to like go buy it, you know? That's the problem. Stinky Pinky says stir fry is super easy. No, I don't want to, Sarah says maybe you need a sandwich. Again, um, I, I don't really eat bread these days when I can avoid it. Uh, and I try not to eat processed meat. Um, so, let's see. I hear crickets says beef last longer. How long does steak last in the fridge? How long does steak last in the fridge? Steak can last anywhere from two days to two weeks. Depends on how it is packaged. Carol Reed says, stir fry is easy, but you need to freeze meat if you want it to last. Just cook and freeze. Cook and freeze? Oh my gosh, that sounds, that sounds like a big hassle too. Quentin of Astoria says, cooking is never easy. A lot of different suggestions going on here. I mean, I, I guess, I guess what I could do, I guess what I could do is I could just one day try to stir fry. I could just try to stir fry one day and, and see how it goes. I did for about, for a few months when I was like right out, right, right, finishing up college or just out of college, I did learn to stir fry and I totally forget. Uh, and I don't remember the cooking part being that hard. I just remember you did have to assemble the ingredients. Hey, thank you, Hans Schelke. Hans, Hans with the salt shaker. I do like salt. Thank you, Hans, for the salt shaker. Hans, for the salt shaker sticker and your support. Uh, cook and freeze. Mm. The real Estuo says stir fry, Instapot, baking, shopping, prepping, cleaning, whatever it be, uh, it's easy for those of us who do it regularly. Sable says Trader Joe's has prepackaged. Prepackaged what? Meat? Linda says, freeze in small batches. Freeze what? Chicken in small batches? Then defrost in the microwave. So many different, people have so many different uh, methods here. Yeah, I think what I should do, I think I should maybe like try one day to make a stir fry chicken meal and just see how it goes. I mean, I'll probably have a much better idea of what this involves if I try it one time. Now, the only, I don't have a wok. The only thing I have is I have a, uh, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> it's like a pan. Uh, it's a, is it a frying pan? No, it's, um, you, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's like what you could scrambled eggs in. It's just a pan. I don't know. I don't even know what you call it. Non-stick pan? Is that what I have? Let's see. Frying pan, I guess I have. It's a big, I hear crickets as a big frying pan is fine. I, I think, I think when I used to, um, when I did this years and years ago, I used a regular frying pan. Is that what it is? A, a skillet? Let's see what skillet says. Skillet. Skillet definition. A skillet. Yeah, I guess a small metal cooking pot with a long handle. Typically having legs. Mine doesn't have legs. That's what I have. What's the difference between a skillet and a frying pan? A saute pan is one that has straight sides. A skillet is the pan with slanted sides. The pan is also sometimes called a fry pan or frying pan. Okay. Oh, thank you. Flatfoot says, are you going to open a stir fry shop or not? Well, I have to maybe cook one stir fry meal and see. 
Thank you, Flatfoot. Thank you, Misha. Misha says, I'm sending you super easy, organic, clean green salad and meat recipes to your P.O. box. Easy, clean, and fast, no frozen foods, too many preservatives and sodium. I don't mind the sodium, but thank you, Misha, for sending me the recipes. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. Um, so... So, P, so I, I guess... I guess maybe I could try, I, I guess maybe I could try, is it crazy that, I, hold on, I'll, I'm going to show you the pen I have. Let me show you the pen I have. Hold on, I can just show you. Hold on. This is my pan. Hey, hey guys, meet my pan. Pan, meet the viewers. <laughs> uh, this is my pan. It's a uh, Miro. Miro. This pan has served me well. The only thing I cook in it is scrambled eggs. Can I, can I use this? Can I use this as if, for my, for my one time initially trying stir fry? Can I use this? Let's see what people say. It's not dirty, it's clean. Gosh. People are saying yes. People are saying I can use this for the stir fry. I just keep it really clean. I keep my I keep my 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 uh, my items clean. Okay, so I'm going to use this. So basically, it sounds like what I should do. It sounds like what I should do is, um, just to do just to do my first. To do my, remember how, remember how this channel started, guys. I, I didn't start by going in crazy and buying lots of equipment. It was, it was baby steps. So remember, when I, when I first started this channel, I was doing live streams on my phone with no lighting and no webcam and no ring light and no background light and no microphone. So that was a good way to start. So similarly, I really just want to start, um, I want to start with like, cooking stir fry one time and we can make a live stream out of it. I can actually, I can actually have the, the webcam in the kitchen and I'll, and I'll show you the entire process. And if it, if it messes up, who cares? Cause then I can, I'll, I can just go buy more ingredients and, and do it again. Um, so, uh, so I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what, I think that's going to be the best idea. Oh, Julie Graves. Thank you, Julie, for the donation. Julie says hamburger meat, spaghetti and ragu. Well, I don't eat pasta. I don't eat pasta. Uh, because uh, for dietary reasons, I have some dietary restrictions. I think I've said this on the stream before, but like about seven or eight years ago, uh, my metabolism totally slowed down and I gained 20 pounds in one year for no reason. It's just because my metabolism slowed down. So I had to change my diet. So I, I basically hardly ever eat pasta. I hardly ever eat white bread. Uh, once in a while I have pizza, but that's, yeah, I don't really like it. I love pizza, but I could have it every day, but I have it once in a while. But it's really because of the lack of other things I like around here. Uh, if you go back, I'm not going to go, I won't go through all this again, but as I said at the beginning of the broadcast, uh, I like... Uh, I, I don't I don't want to eat junk food, but I don't like super fancy and I can't afford super fancy anyway, but I don't really like it. I just for lunch, I just am happy when I can get like a bowl of like good quality meat or chicken uh, and or shrimp and a bunch of vegetables. If I can have that every day, I'd be a happy person. Just good quality vegetables and meat in a bowl. That's tasty. Uh, that's all I, that's all I ask for. And uh, it seems like I, I was wondering if maybe that's something I could do myself. Um, but it's hard to find that. It, it's really hard. Pla there, those places don't exist. Where I am, those places, there's like no place that, that serves that. And if they do serve it, they do some awful version of it. And they don't give you enough food, and it's bad. Like, like I, you can't find that. That's all I want. If there were lots of places serving that, I, I wouldn't have to make my own food. Brian, go back in the broadcast. I explained how bad the Chipotle is near me. I need to do a stream about, a whole stream about how bad the Chipotle is near me. Okay. Um, Davis A. USA says, time to one pot that veggie dick and chicken dish. You can make pounds of it and freeze it.
So I think I I, I, I don't I don't really like eating rice. Um, I, I I love white rice, but it's not it makes me boop. So oh and yeah, CRT says most Chinese places do a steamed chicken and veggie dish. The Chinese places near here are awful. There's not many of them and they're awful. Uh, there's no Thai place within walking distance uh, near me. Well, there's one that's like a super expensive Thai place, so I'm not going to go there. Uh, but it's just like, I, it's just, it's just, you want like simple basic places that aren't that expensive that serve decent food. And it's like, it doesn't exist. Uh, how, all right, Dan Patch video says, how far, far to the store? There's a grocery store on my block. I have a very conveniently located grocery store. So it doesn't take me a long time to get to the grocery. I don't have to drive to the grocery. I can walk to the grocery. So that's not a problem. I can walk to the grocery. I should have mentioned that. TJ Tampa says, same here. The cheap places, the food is awful. Yeah, it's either, and I don't want junk food. I don't want fried food. It's like, that's your choice. It's crappy food that's cheaper or like super expensive. So I, I, I think, I think, um, I think the best thing to do is, is to try making the stir fry. I think that's the best thing to do. Donna B, you're, you're noted. But I like meat, Donna B. Donna B is telling me to go to this vegan restaurant. But I like meat. But thank you for the recommendation, Donna B. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe, maybe what I'll do, maybe what I'll do is I'll do a live stream where I stir fry. I'll, I'll, I'll watch a couple stir fry. I mean, because if that's what I like, by the way, oh, at one point when I, I should mention this. So I mentioned how uh, like, um, like seven years ago, my metabolism slowed down. And when that happened, I started experimenting cooking, like grilling stuff for myself. And I was grilling some meat. I don't want to get into that again because it, it's like I was grilling a steak or grilling a chicken breast. Um, but if you're looking for a good grill, I actually, I had this grill and I actually really liked it. The Presto Cool Touch Electric Grill. I used this grill for several years. It's very simple. You just put a piece of meat on it and it cooks. So I did do that. I cooked fish, I cooked fish chicken, and steak on it. It just it takes a little while to do. Um, so, uh, but it cleans up very easily. Anyways, so if you're looking for a tabletop grill, I put the link to that in the uh, I put the link to that in, in the description because uh, because that's the one I used to use. I and I ended up get I stopped using it. I ended up giving it away. Uh, Dan Patch video says, why don't you want to do it again? The problem is, is that if I just, if I just grill a chicken breast, that doesn't like fill me up. Like I need to like have more flavor in it and I got to have other ingredients. Uh, and I don't really want to have a steak for lunch. Uh, I try not to have too much steak. So I like the idea of having like meat and vegetables, but to do that and then to do that and cook other stuff, I, it just seems like too much. It seems like then I'm like sitting there for an hour and a half preparing different things. I eat a, my lunch is my big meal. That's what I, that's when I have like my most food. Linda says, I think stir fry is going to be your best solution. Yeah, I might have to go with that. I might have to go with that. All right, so I think that's going to be my plan. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to I'm going to watch a few stir fry videos. I'm going to do a little research like on what, you know, I'm not going to buy tons of stuff because I don't know if I'll keep doing it. But it sounds like I just need meat, veggies and then some kind of oil or two oil and sauce, maybe or something like that. So I'm going to watch a couple videos um, and, uh, and and we'll try it once. I'll, I'll put the webcam in the in the kitchen and I'll get my ingredients and we'll just do a live stream and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll eat the food in front of you at the kitchen table and we'll go from there. It'll be interesting though. I might have to like move around. I'll have to position the webcam so you can see what I'm doing. 
You know, it's not like I have five cameras in here to show you what I'm doing. But we'll do it. We'll do. We'll do. We'll do a live uh, stream. I don't even have an apron. Why not? So, uh, yeah, I'll do a cooking video. I'm excited. I'll do a cooking video. And maybe it'll be terrible. Maybe it'll be awful. But why not? I'll do, maybe I'll do it in the next couple of days. Why not try it? I'll get like a chicken breast and a bunch of vegetables. Okay. Well, we have a plan then. Yay. We have a plan. Uh, okay, so so we we're, we got a plan, uh, and let me see um, uh, if anyone has any further thoughts on this. Feel free to let me know. Uh, I've also been thinking of other kinds of streams. Uh, of uh, if you if you have suggestions for certain types of streams, let me know. I've been thinking of other types of streams we might do. So as I just mentioned, I'm going to do a cooking. I am going to do a cooking stream. Um, Excuse me, but also like like um, like uh, I, I kind of want to do one stream sometime where we've done this thing before. We l let me run an idea behind you by you. We've done this thing before where you know I'm in this Amazon thing where uh, you can, Amazon Associates. It's not like it's a very exclusive thing, but basically when I post a when I talk about a product on the air and I post a link in, to, to it on Amazon, if you guys go to the link. And then you buy that product or anything else from Amazon in the next 24 hours. They give me a cut of it. And so people have been buying things on Amazon that I didn't recommend. What people will do is they'll click on my link and then they'll go buy something else. And what happens is I get a, I get a readout where it doesn't tell me who bought it, but it tells me all the things people bought on Amazon that I got credit for. And it's really random stuff. And I kind of like the idea of doing a stream where I just go through the different items because we've done it a little bit on the streams and there's like, it's constantly things that I, I didn't even know these products existed. I'm like, what is this thing? What is this tree shaped jewelry holder or this butter powder or this owl knitting thing? It's like that. Uh, so I'm, I might do a stream where I just go through the Amazon things and show some of them and then people can tell me what they are. So I'm thinking if, if people like that idea, I might do that at some point. I might do I might wait a couple days and then do something like that. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's like it's basically the stream would be like what you're buying because it's what you guys are buying. So I was thinking of doing something like that. So we'll do that at some point. Yeah, the fun thing about that is that you guys actually bought the stuff. And often when I the the, the few times I've done it on the air, uh Often the person who bought the thing is in the chat room. Okay. Um, let's see. So I'm thinking about that. But it, yeah, if you have suggestions for streams that you'd like to see, certainly uh, let me know. You can also message me on Twitter. Uh, or you can, like, you can always post it in the comments to the broadcast. Oh, see, Grand D said I bought, a, I bought acrylic paints and art supplies from, from your link. Yeah, so if any of the links I post in my... Uh, and also, if you're, if you're ever thinking about buying something for Amazon and you want to get a link, I can give you a link to it. Uh, or, you know, so, so... But if, yeah, if, if you check out any of the links I post in our broadcasts for the 24 hours after, if you buy something on Amazon, I get some kind of credit for it. Uh, Dar Darren Markley says, how about doing a movie review stream? That's an interesting question. You know, the thing about a movie review stream is, see, if I just go out and see a movie and I review it, you, a lot of you guys won't have seen it. So it's like, what, I don't know that that's really fun for you if I'm doing a movie review stream and a lot of you guys haven't seen the movie. Um, you know, so I don't know. Uh, I'm open to doing it, uh, but it would have to be something that like, we've all seen. Otherwise, you're just like, why are we, why are you, what are you talking about? Rubin says Q and questions and answers. Yeah, a lot of people do Q and A things where they just do, maybe we'll, I should probably, I really have no excuse to not try things. Um, we, we've never done a Q and A stream. So where people just ask random questions and I can answer the questions. We probably should uh, because we've never done it. I mean, I could at least try. Uh, 
Uh, Empath says, bring on guests. I'm open to bringing on guests. It's just like I'd have to figure out like who the person is. Dan Patch video says, I want your stream about new, looking for a new city to live in. Oh, if, if, if and when I, if I do end up moving, I, that I would stream all of that stuff. I would be, I would, you, you would be, you, it would be heavily streamed if I, if I do that. Oh, thank you, Le Petit Silver. Le Petit Silver says, how about Blue Apron or HelloFresh shipped weekly? You choose meals and includes all ingredients and portions. They even have stir fry options. That's interesting. I haven't even looked into that Blue Apron and stuff. I will say this, when I see like the ads for Blue Apron, the kind of food they offer, it seems like, it's, it seems like a little kind of just like fancy for me. Like I'm really, ba like I like just like meat and vegetables. That's all I want. Um, so I feel like they kind of do the thing where they have like special blooperty blue sauce and stuff like that. I don't know, it's worth, uh, Le Petit Silver, it's a good suggestion. I'll look into it. I don't know if it'll work for me, but it's a, it's a good, it's, a, it's worth looking into Le Petit Silver. So I do very much appreciate the suggestion. Thank you. And thanks for the donation as well. Oh, thank you, Misha. Misha says, stream idea, three-day green cleanse? For, are you crazy, Misha? <laughs> Include smoothies and salads? My personal cleanse for free? Misha, what if I get sick and I can't cover the news because I'm cleansing for three days? That seems like a big risk, doesn't it, Misha? If I do a three-day green, green cleanse, would I have never done such a thing before? I don't know. It seems pretty risky, Misha. I, pre I appreciate the suggestion. It seems like kind of a, a, a three days is a long time. Thank you, Misha, for the donation. Oh, um, yeah, so Willette says, what about Lookner likes telling us some of your favorite things to do or things you like? Yeah, I think that's a, that's a perfectly reasonable thing to stream about. I was thinking about streaming about and talking about some of my favorite TV shows. But yeah, thinking, just talking about some of my favorite things, I mean, like, why not? At this point, why, there, there is a great video. There's a really, let me, t I want to talk about a video for a second. I want, to I want to tell you about a video I watched, which is really, really good. I want to tell you about this. It's, it's, it's a very entertaining video, but it's very good. Let's see if I can find it here. Um, I should be able to find it. It's, it was really good, though. And I agree with it. Yes. So it's this guy, Roberto Blake. And Roberto Blake is a guy who, um, he, like, does Robert. videos about, like, how to, like, be a YouTuber. Um, but he's real. He's, he's good. He's very blunt. He's very, he doesn't like coddle you. Um, but the video he made is called, uh, can I get it on the screen here? Make 100 crappy YouTube videos. Make 100 crappy YouTube videos. He's called, his name is Roberto Blake. And basically his point is, he just says like, if you're starting out like a YouTube channel, like, like just make videos. They're not going to be that good. Um, and you can, if you, if, if, you, if you insist on perfect, you'll never make anything. And if you worry about the equipment, you'll be worrying about the wrong thing. And if you want to get better, you just need to make videos. So he says, what you should do if you're starting a YouTube channel is make 100 crappy videos. Uh, they're not, a lot of your videos aren't going to be good. Don't worry about it. Just do your best and make them. And, and you'll learn stuff by just doing it. And he also, he does this thing, it's very interesting in the video. He goes back and shows videos of like, that people like Mr. Beast and Shane Dawson and PewDiePie who became huge. And he shows you the videos they started making. And he was like, if you look at, look at their early videos uh, and like Marcus, uh, Marcus, Marcus Brownlee. Um, and he just says, if you look at their videos, like they're not all like crazy, amazing and produced like they are now. So, but it's just, he basically is just like, he's, it's very direct and it's like, stop being a baby stop whining, make a hundred crappy videos. But I think something healthy about it is he, is he, is it, it's, if you're making videos, uh, on your own, there's a tendency, like it's your, it's, I mean, you're in the video. So there's a tendency to think like, oh, 
this is going to be bad. And then it makes me look bad. And what am I doing? And like, that's not a good enough idea. And I'm not going to be good enough at it. And it's just at a certain point, like you can talk yourself out of making any videos. And, but if you think about like the way he puts it, it's like, it's about giving your permission to just make crappy videos. You're not trying to make crappy videos. He doesn't mean try to make crappy videos. He just means make a hundred videos. Just make them. Do your best and make them. And if they're bad, just don't worry about it. <laughs> and I, I think that's a very healthy way to look at it. So, because I'm someone who really like, it can be like, no, that's not a good enough idea. Or like, I want it to be perfect. And it's just, but at a certain point, I, I haven't been doing it that much. This kind of thing. I didn't, I've been doing the news thing a long time, but this kind of thing I haven't been doing a long time. So I think, you know, when people say these ideas, it's like at a certain point, well, why not do them? You know, what's, what's the big harm in doing one of these ideas that somebody suggests? So I, I don't really think there is, but at a certain point, you just do it. Um, so, so anyways, I, I highly recommend that video. Even if you don't want to make a YouTube channel yourself, it's really entertaining. It says, it's called Make 100 Crappy YouTube Videos like Mr. Beast and PewDiePie did. And that's by uh, Roberto Blake. It's a very good video. This, this video should have way more than 56,000 views. And I only found it because I was watching somebody else uh, who's like some kind of YouTube person who, who, who makes help, help videos for YouTubers. And, and they mentioned this video. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's great. And I watched it. It's so good. It's really, really good. It's really good. So I recommend it. Go, go watch that after this. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Misha said that she, she said, not an ad. I just like y'all. I guess this is, she, thanks for the donation, Misha. That sounds like it was part of an ongoing conversation Misha is having with the other viewers. Thank you, Misha. Oh, for her, for her cleanse, I guess. Thank you, Misha. Yeah, so... Um, Dan Patch Video says, I don't want to make videos, but I want to make something else and I need to do that exact thing. Yeah, if, if you're somebody who basically wants to do something and you're having an issue with actually getting motivated to do it, watch Make 100 Crappy YouTube Videos. It's very good. I might watch it again after I, after I do this video. Uh, let's see here. Darren says, what about stream on as seen on TV items and see if they do what they claim they do? Like, I could do that. I don't know. It feels like, see, that's something where I feel like there's certain things that like lots of YouTubers do. Like lots of YouTubers do taste test things and I could do it, but like there's so many people doing that. So I, I, I kind of like to avoid stuff that like so many other people do because I feel like it's just out there. It's, it's not a bad idea. It might be a good video, but personally I feel better when I'm not doing like stuff that like so many other people are doing. That's just for me. That's the way I am. And it's a perfectly good YouTube. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. It's a good idea. It's just for me. I like to do stuff that's a little different. Uh, let's see here. Um, TJ Tampa says he thinks Roberto Blake's make 100 crappy YouTube videos. He said, TJ Tampa says, good advice. Learn by doing works every time. The other great thing about this video is just, he is, he's pretty, he's very straightforward and he's pretty harsh and direct. He like, he doesn't really have patience for you not doing it. Like he's, again, he's not holding your hand. He's very direct and he's just like, do this. He's basically like, do this, stop being a baby and <laughs> do it. Rick Hoppy said, an old arch teacher of mine said, you have 10,000 draw bad drawings in you. You'd best start getting them out of you. So there. Weekly TV says you can do a day in the life of Luckner. Well, I might do specific things. I, I kind of, I, I'm thinking of, I don't even want to tell you about that stream. There's one stream I'm thinking of doing, but I'm just going to do it one, one night. 
All right. So look. Um, oh, <laughs> Julie Graves says find a haunted place in Atlanta and stream from there. Just go find a haunted place. Stream for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. I, if, I, if I ever, if I do move, I'll, I'll turn on a camera and I'll just have like a live moving packing cam. I'll have a live packing cam and people can watch me pack constantly. I'll do that. Misha's still pushing the cleanse. The other thing, can I, can I mention another interesting thing? Another interesting thing about doing these live streams. This is, a, I should do a whole stream about this, is... So th me doing this stuff live, like this is not a good way to attract new viewers. Like my streaming, my doing most of my videos live is like the worst way to attract new viewers. Because think about it, like anyone who sees, say somebody sees this video title, right? Um, and they... They click on the title, should I learn to cook for myself? And they're like, okay, this guy's considering learning to cook for himself. And they think what they're going to get is like, like a seven minute video where somebody just gets right into it and like lays out the pros and cons. And then they turn it on this and like we're talking to each other for 10 minutes. I don't even get into the topic. And then when I do get in the topic, I'm like asking you guys a lot of questions. It's like, it's just like, we're just discussing this stuff. So for new people, like this is, now I, I enjoy doing it. And also like, like, you know, you guys are loyal viewers. So I want to like do stuff that you guys enjoy participating in. And I know you guys like, like being in the live chat and like, and talking to each other. So it's just, it's interesting though, because it, and it's, it's, I, I'm look if I want if I didn't want to do it I do I like I like doing the live streams I like interacting with you guys during the broadcast I I like doing that I think it's great I enjoy it it's much it's interesting to me to do that and it's much more exciting than just shooting stuff on my own and, and by myself so I like doing it but but it is interesting it's just funny because it's just like it's it's so if you're trying to get like new viewers, it's just the utter wrong thing to do because just think of what it's like for some for a new person to watch one of these broadcasts. You know. And, and I don't see Michelle Sparks says, but we'll talk to them also. No, I mean like pe people new people who watch this not live. Not people who tune in live, but people who watch it after the fact. Because they don't, somebody who doesn't know me and they click on my video, they're not gonna know I, I like do a lot of live streams. They're just expecting like a produced video. <laughs> so it's just, you know. Anyway, so that's an interest, that's a whole other interesting thing. Yeah, like the, exactly that. Like uh, time traveler mentions the two and a half hour unboxing video. Yeah, somebody clicks on my video, uh, you know, uh, microphone unboxing. They want a five minute unboxing video. They don't want the two and a half hour live stream. But what what can I do? It is what it is. Grandy says this format works because it's so juxtaposed to your news station. Well, thank you, Grandy. Yeah, it is different. So no, look, I like doing the live videos. Um, it's just. You know, it's, it's a, it's, that's why, that's why I do say, if you know someone who you think might like this channel, feel free to let them know, because I think a lot of random people who stumble along the, the channel and they watch videos in the archives, they, they, they will have very little tolerance for it because they, cause they won't, they won't have done the live chat thing. All right. Well, I think, uh, let's see. Peppy the Frog says, I accidentally clicked on this. You were in my recommended page. Peppy the Frog, really? What, what, did you, what do you think you've gotten yourself into? Yeah, TJ Tampa, I do need to, I do need to do some more recorded videos. I do. I'm going to there's one recorded one I want to do kind of soon. So I do need to do some recorded ones. Anyways. 
All right, so, so the plan is this. The plan is this. Here's the plan. Let's just go over the plan. The plan is I am going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to study up on uh, stir frying. I'm going to watch a few stir fry videos, which will probably take five minutes. Uh, and I'll go get the ingredients and we will do a stir fry live stream. Steve's first stir fry. Although I did one like, like 15 years ago or something, but it'll be basically Steve's first stir fry, uh, where I try to cook for myself and we see how it goes and how long it takes. And if it's practical to do regularly, uh, that's, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I, I am committed to doing it. So, so, so we'll put it, put it on your calendar. Oh, Sable Winters, Sable Winters sent me, uh, sent me some stir fry recipes. And then James 1.1 sent me a book recommendation. And Jeff Ferro recommended HelloFresh. And then Ur Ur Upstate Dad sent me a, uh, sent me a recommendation as well. Look into throwing thing in a bag and vacuum sealing it. I'll, I'll read that after upstate dad. Thank you. All right, good. Sounds like a plan. We did it guys. We did it. All right. Uh, my last question for you is aside from Pepe the frog, did anyone, is there anyone in the chat room? who just stumbled upon this video. Is there anyone that I'm always interested in knowing this. Is there anyone in the chat room who just found this broadcast tonight by looking through live? Let's see what people say. Let's see. I guess Peppy did. Oh my gosh. I got to time somebody out. Goodbye. I, I beat you mods. I beat you to see fields mods. I beat you. Hey, thank you, Idaho Star. I appreciate it, Idaho Star. P Dub? No, P Dub, you've seen the broadcast before. This isn't your first live stream. Ascenderia says, I found you on IP2 Network. I think there's one new person there. Oh, and yeah, we will be doing, uh, I, we will be doing a Christmas Eve stream and, uh, oh, we got to do something. I, I have, I have a special treat for you right now. Oh, should I make this a separate stream? No, I can't do this right now. I can't do it. No, I can't do it. I got to save it. I got to save it. It's there's, I was going to do this, but I got to save it. It's better. It's, it's better for you. It's better for you if I save it. If I do it now, that's stupid. Yeah, I, I, sorry. I, you're going to be annoyed at me for saying that, but believe me, it's stupid if I do that now. We'll do it later. <laughs> we'll do it later. <laughs> sorry. No, so we're doing a Christmas Eve. We're doing a Christmas Eve stream and a New Year's Eve stream. So those will be on Agenda Free TV. And, uh, and I have to figure out the exact time, but we're definitely doing it. So I hope you can make some or all of that. No, Jay Marie, I can't give you a hint. It's better for you. No hint. Oh, yeah, and also, yeah, I would love, so just a heads up, I, I should mention this. For the Christmas Eve stream, like, if you want to send in like during the stream, if you want to send in any pictures of like your Christmas tree or your Christmas decorations or your Christmas cookies, like, yeah, I'd love to like share people's Christmas, you know, people can share what their, their kind of Christmas setup or whatever. So feel free to take some of those photos or videos so you can send them to me during the Christmas Eve stream and then I'll, I'll show some on the air. So just a heads up about that. Oh, Lori Mitchell is there. Lori Mitchell is a lurker. 
She says she doesn't chat much. Thanks for thanks for commenting, Lori Mitchell. Yeah, when I, when, during the stream, you can write during the um, during the Christmas Eve stream and the New Year's stream. You can write to me on Twitter, and that's where you can reach me. And you can send you can send me your, like the photos there and the videos there too. That'll be the best place. At Lookner on Twitter. Tan Patch says that last year was like a party. Yeah, it was fun last year. We'll do it again. All right, guys. I think, guys, it's weird. I, I feel like, you know what's weird? I was just about to get off the air. Why? Uh, I don't understand. I'm very interested in knowing this. Like, in the last 10 minutes, I've basically been signing off and like a bunch of new viewers came into the chat. I have no, I I have no idea why a bunch of new viewers showed up at the live stream. Is it because people like just got the notification or is it because people are just on YouTube searching for a live video and they stumble across this? I have no idea. It's very, very strange. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's trending on YouTube. Actually, what if I, you know what I want to do? I want to go to, I want, if I go to YouTube and I search for live videos, does this come up? Let's look, let's do this. Let's search in YouTube. Okay. If we go to YouTube, ready? So I go to YouTube. Now, if this is only recommended for me because this is I, I'm on Agenda Free TV YouTube. So I subscribe to this channel. So that's why it's recommending it. But if I go to YouTube Live, YouTube, uh, can I go to Live? What if I search for, I don't know, Live, Live, Filter. Oh, how about, how about this? Um, YouTube Live. Live YouTube. Like, does this stream come up? Uh, live now. No, we're not in live now. It's not there. It's not there. Live now gaming. Live now news. Live now sports. Recent live streams. Live now technology. Mobile live streams. I'm not on here anyway. I'm nowhere on here. They don't recommend me at all. Well, how about webcam live streams? I'm nowhere. You know why? You know why I'm not on the live page, I think? Because, like, I'm not doing this from my phone. I, th I think the idea is, like, if, like, for, for, I don't know. This should, but they know I'm live. I, I, I don't know. I just, it's weird. Anyways, they don't, they don't recommend me. Ah, <laughs> uh, so. Memo Grand thinks the people who the people who all join the stream are trolls. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. This doesn't. This makes no sense. Like like the last ten minutes, I've just been wrapping up, and more people join the stream, and I don't understand it. Like another thing I don't know is like, do people just find your live stream if you just if I just stay on the air for three hours, do more and more people just show up to the live stream even if I'm talking about nothing? Is that what happens? I have no idea. Oh, Robin's going to sleep. Bye, Robin. Thanks for Robin for coming. Um, yeah, and let me say this also. I want so actually, there's something else I wanted to mention. Um, so this this is a thought I had. This is a thought I had. I, I want to let you know this thought I had because I'm doing this channel, and you know the channel sort of it it just kind of kind of just develops as as we do more stuff. I don't know what it's going to be like, and we try different things. Um, but like, I didn't know. Like sometimes it feels like it's almost like kind of like an interactive talk show or something because sometimes like, like, I mean, for the first part of the stream, we had a very fixed topic, which is, uh, should I learn to cook? And, you know, sometimes we have an unboxing, um, which is, uh, you know, I have to unbox something, but very often during the streams, it's in, in large part because of me, because I'm kind of all over the place. We like talk about a lot of different things. You know, we'll do an unboxing. It'll take an hour to get the unboxing. Um, but when we do that, it, it when we do that, it starts feeling more just like like just like a talk show where I'm just it's interactive where I'm here and we're just talking about whatever. Um, but I've never done a like I've never done a stream where I said, okay, the stream is just like 
like the talk show stream. It's just, I'm coming on the air and we're talking about whatever. Um, now, maybe I should do that. Uh, who, who knows? Maybe there's an audience for that. I mean, because at a certain point, it's kind of what we do anyway. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't present the videos as such. So, I mean, maybe, maybe that's what people want. It's all the same to me. Uh, I, have no, I, I have no idea if that's what people want. Um, but, uh, you know, you know it just, it's, 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 I don't, I, I have no idea if, if you were to go on the year three hours a day and you stay on for three hours, are people just looking for like a talk show, like they turn the radio dial and trying to find somebody talking live? I don't know. I haven't tried it. I was thinking of doing it. I was thinking of doing it for a late night live stream. I was thinking of doing like a 3:30 a.m. live stream. That's why I sent out that poll on the on the Lookner page on the in the community tab. Uh, and I was thinking of like just doing like a 3:30 a.m. live stream one night where I just come on and we don't really have a, fi a fixed topic. We, there's a, the 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 uh, the um, the theme is that we're on live at 3:30 a.m. So. But I don't know. I, I I have I don't know what people watch. It's very weird. Like like again, I have I have no idea. Like why are people? Why is the audience amount going up now? Doesn't make any sense. Now another thing that happens is maybe maybe what happens is if you have if you're streaming live and there's people watching, maybe YouTube recommends you to other people. Perhaps maybe I don't know. Monkey Puppet says, I missed the lower third. You know, that's an interesting point. At some point, maybe I'll have graphics. Maybe uh, it's, I, I could do that at some point. Oh my God, Christopher Lund. That's very generous of you, Christopher Lund. Christopher, Christopher is one of our moderators in the, in the uh, Christopher is one of our moderators in the, um, in the, uh, in the YouTube, on the YouTube, on the Agenda Free TV, that's very generous of you, Christopher. Christopher, it's very nice of you. Uh, Christopher, Christopher, if you want to be a mod, if you want to be a mod on this channel, you're welcome to as well. All the other mods are welcome to model on this model. So if, if you want to wrench on this channel, Christopher, let me know. Thank you, Christopher. Uh, also, Christopher, I, I never mentioned what we discussed about a possible video idea, Christopher, but if, if you ever want me to mention it, I'll mention it to people. I just haven't brought it up, Christopher. So... Um, uh, but, uh, but thank you for that, Christopher. That's very nice of you. He, he might be already gone. He, he might have popped right in and then left. Christopher might have been in and out of the stream. That's very nice of you, Christopher. Let's see if, let's see if Christopher actually posts something. In, does he, did he leave or is he going to post a response? Or is he going to be the mystery man and just leave? I think he's gone. I think he just left. Maybe he just left. That's it. He's gone. He just he just came in and left. Didn't even have even. Oh, there he is. All right, oh, 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 Christopher, this is great. First of all, Christopher, Christopher, do you want me to? Do you want to be a mod, Christopher, in here? Christopher, do you want to be a mod for Lookner Channel? It's it's okay if you don't. If you do, let me know. So Christopher, I'll, if put it this way, I won't, I won't wrench you, but if you do want to be a mod, say say you do, and I'll and I'll wrench you. So all right, hey guys, I want to tell you something about. Let me let me run I, now. This is good. So Christopher says I can talk about this. So uh, I want to tell you something. Uh, I want to tell you something that Christopher did, which was very kind of him. Well, you know, he just he just made a big donation to the channel, which was very very kind of him. So thank you, Christopher. But Christopher is one of our moderators on YouTube. But Christopher, I, I have never said this before. I've never told anyone this before, um, uh, and it's and never never mentioned it on a broadcast before. Uh, Christopher. When I started the Lookner channel a few weeks ago, and I mentioned, uh, and I mentioned um, that uh, 
that uh, I wanted to maybe do some travel stuff. So I did this one video. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to post a card to it. If you want to see the one video where I did kind of a travel thing, I'm going to post it now. It's the um it's the video where we did a walking tour. We did a walking tour of uh, uh, of um Piedmont Park in Atlanta. If you want to see it, there's a link right here. See, I'll do that. I'll post that I'll post that card in the in the po in post 12430. Piedmont Park. Uh, but we did this. I did one video where I was, while I was traveling around, walking around, uh, and uh, I, I live streamed it. And it was this one here. You can see it on this page right here. Uh, Piedmont Park Walk Tour in Atlanta Live First Outdoor Stream. So anyways, you can check that out if you want. But uh, I had mentioned... Oh, and th thank you, by the way, Rob Van Roy. I appreciate that, Rob Van Roy. Thank you, Rob, for the donation. Very kind of you. Um, so, so, so I did that stream, but I had mentioned on that stream and elsewhere, you know, I'd love at some point to do some kind of, you know, live traveling thing where I live stream while I'm traveling and, you know, people can interact with me while I'm traveling or something. Um, Christopher Lund actually offered, this was very generous of him. Christopher wrote to me and he said, if you ever want to do a live stream trip, if you ever want to do a trip like for the station, for the channel, where you come to Austin, I will cover the expenses. Christopher said as a donation to the channel, Christopher said, I would cover the expenses for you to come to Austin where Christopher lives and you can, you can do that trip, which is very generous. And I told Christopher, I want to do it. It sounds awesome. Um, I just have to kind of like, well, first of all, I need to figure out some technical stuff about doing it. And second of all, I want to like get this channel kind of just going a little bit. Um, and then it's also, it's a weird thing because, you know, I, I don't want to do it like during the Iowa caucuses because I can't, I can't cover the news while I'm traveling. But it's something I really want to do. And Christopher was very nice and he offered it. Um, and so, so at some point I would like to do that trip because I think it would be fun. But I, I need to, I kind of want to just get the channel developed any more, a little more and kind of figure out what the heck I'm doing a little more before I do something like that. I don't want to do something like that until I'm like at least a little more technically proficient and have figured some things out. Uh, but that was, it was really nice of him to offer. So, and he, he said he'd pay the expenses for it. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, and I would just, you know, live stream a lot. So. Yeah, Christopher Lund says, I love Austin and the offer still stands. I think it will be great. So that's very nice of Christopher. So I definitely want to do it. Uh, one kind of annoying thing, and I, meant, I think I mentioned this to Christopher, is streaming on a phone does not work that well these days. Uh, if you watch my Piedmont Park walking tour that I did a few weeks ago on this channel, um, I was on my phone the whole time. It's just, it's hard to get a great signal. Uh, and it's just, I don't love the quality. Uh, there's like a thing you can buy called like, this is something, there's this thing you can buy which helps you stream while on the road. And it's called, let me see, it's called um, like Live Use Solo, but it is super expensive. So this is this thing, Live Use Solo. And what this does what this does is like this lets you like combine like the AT&T phone uh, signal and the Verizon phone signal and it combines them together. So you get like a much better signal live wherever you're, you're doing it from. But like this thing, it costs like $1,100 and then it costs like it costs like $50 a month for the service. And then you have to get like a data plan with both AT&T and Verizon. So it's just this enormous expense. So if my full-time thing was going around and traveling and doing live streams, I would get that, but it's just not worth my getting right now. So I will say this though, you know, eventually there'll be 5G uh, where the Wi-Fi signals are much better. When there's 5G, it, I think it'll be a lot easier to go and just stream on your phone and have the quality be a lot better. Uh, so, but I, you know, I, 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 I'm, I don't like the idea that on your phone, when you stream, it's, it's often pretty spotty quality, you know? So, uh, yeah. Uh, now, uh, uh, Sam Clem says, get a better streaming phone. My, my, my phone is a pretty, I mean, it's, it's like a three-year-old phone, but it's, 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 it's a pretty high end phone. Like in terms of the specs, it's just when you're on, just you're, you're subject to the signal, the phone signal. Uh, so, but anyways, 
So it's it's a very nice offer from Christopher to go to Austin, and I'd like to do it at some point. I'm I, I'm I think I'm going to do it at some point. It's just I got to be ready to I got to be at the right time, and I got to figure out some things. Uh, Christopher says the traffic in Austin is horrible. Um, thankfully, I live downtown. Yeah, as Julie says, it's not the phone so much as the as the what as the as the phone signal. Now, TJ, oh, TJ Tampa says you could pre-record stuff and then review with live chat. You know, that's an interesting idea. What TJ Tampa is saying is like, so I go somewhere, like I go to Austin, and for some of it, I'm not live streaming. I'm shooting a bunch of stuff. And then I guess the idea would be is, well, there's two ways to do it. See, the problem is I'd want to do it. I wouldn't want to like do it a week later. Uh, I could upload it. I could upload the video, like the raw video, and then I could go in the chat and talk with people in the chat. But that's not as fun necessarily I because then I'm not really interacting with people. But that is an option. TJ says like if I go to a place like Austin, then there's a place you could like I could make a video somewhere and I'm not live streaming. And then I just upload the video to YouTube and I do a YouTube premiere where I'm in the chat room talking to people while I'm showing the video. It's an interesting thought. Uh, you know, it's a way of, it's, again, it, look, what I'd love to do is if this just worked perfectly, I would just stream live on this the whole time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but it's it's not. I don't want to just go to Austin and then not be able to give good content and not be able to give you guys. The point of going there is to like show you a bunch of it. That's that's the point. Um. So, so it's it's something I really want to do. Uh. Cheryl Sibson says a guy went from Alaska to Chile, took him five years by fat bike. He does uploads, no problem. Yeah, it wouldn't be a problem for me to do uploads. It's just I want to, you know, I don't, I, it, I don't like the idea of like just going and shooting stuff and uploading it and not interacting with the viewers while people are watching it. So, so that is something I, I am thinking about. I am definitely thinking about it. Uh, and, uh, William Martyr says, we are not new viewers. We are the, we are the creme de la creme from agenda free TV. Yeah, this is a, this is a, it's a very strange thing that's happened during this stream. Uh, I've just been kind of, we, we covered the cooking stuff like in the first hour of the stream and we've kind of just been talking to other stuff and I have no idea why people keep joining while, while, while keep, while, why people keep joining the chat. It's kind of an experiment to see, do people just keep joining the live stream if it just stays on the air? I don't know where the people are coming from. Um, let's see. 3000 Movers says purchase a live you backpack. The I mentioned the live view stuff before. The live view, the live view basically takes multiple cell phone signals and puts them together and makes a really good signal. Again, the problem with live view stuff is it's very expensive. That's the problem with live view. So, uh, you know, also remember this. You know, I'm covering. If if I go on the road, I can't be covering breaking news. Uh, now, but I really want to do some kind of travel stream, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, I, uh, I don't plan on doing traveling all the time because how can I cover the news? Yeah, so people are probably very confused if, especially if people are tuning in because they want to hear about, should I learn to cook for myself? People, that's the thing. People are tuning in and they think we're talking about should I learn to cook for myself? And we stopped talking about that a half an hour ago. We covered that already. You know? CRT says I'm buzzed and watching something else at the same time. Maybe people are just doing that. Maybe people just have me on in the background. It's very interesting. John Ditch says 480 bored people tonight. Yeah, isn't it? It's, it's what night is it? It's Saturday night. 
I, I, people, I, I just, I have no idea why people keep tuning in. Uh, 3000 Mover says, live you sponsors, big streamers, they might give you one for free. You know, it might not be the worst thing to contact live you and ask them about it. Uh, Benjamin Ostrom says, I'm bored. That's why he's here. Benjamin Ostrom is here because he's bored. Disrupts it says, uh, I'm here because we have no life. Yeah, people, once in a while somebody comes in and asks if we about about cooking. Oh, yeah. So if 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 you join the stream because you wanted to know uh, if I'm going to learn to cook for myself, uh, what we decided is that I'm going to uh, do a stir fry stream where I am going to um, I'm going to do I'm going to buy some ingredients and I'm going to do a stir fry and I'm going to live stream it and we're going to see if that works. That that'll be in the next few days. I think we'll do. Uh, Denise Bronson says we are not bored. Yeah, today was a pretty quiet news day. I, I haven't been on the air for news. And also, I didn't go on the air for news because I was up until whenever because we were covering uh, the fires in, in Australia till after 4 a.m. So I was up very late, and then I slept late. Uh, let's see. Disrupted says, hopefully you live stream the shopping part. I, I don't think I'm going to go in. I don't know like if stores really allow you to go in and, and live. I don't think like, you know, a grocery store wants to be live streaming from the grocery store. And then it's like, then it's like a 10 minute video of me shopping for groceries. Uh, let's see. Ruben thinks that people just tune in the longer that you're on. This has be this stream has become a giant experiment <laughs> because for some reason, just people keep joining the stream. I have no idea what it is. Rooms for Rockets, if you have questions about that kind of things, you should write to me on Twitter, at Luckner on Twitter. Uh, Christopher, oh, Christopher Lund is wondering, do donations make you trend more? I have no idea. Christopher Lund, maybe you gave a big donation, and then YouTube's like, oh my gosh, we got to like let other people know about this video. Um, Vault says, how long, I wonder if Vault's a new viewer. Vault says, how long did it take you to get the verification badge after applying? So what I did is when I hit 100,000 subscribers on Agenda Free TV, I actually wrote to them. So Vault, this probably, this probably doesn't interest anybody else except for Vault. Um, but Vault, if you've hit, a, congratulations if you've hit 100,000 subscribers. It's amazing. Um, uh, but uh, I would suggest do a, a live chat with YouTube and talk to them about it uh, because I, I actually just did a chat with them and then somebody looked into it and they said, oh, well, I'll help you out with it. And they'll, they, I, I, I think it might have. So it, it took, I think, a few days or a week or something like that. But they, I, I think it helped that I actually reached out to them and asked them about it. Stinky Pinky says Vault has 115,000 subscribers. Nice work. Yeah, that, that would be my, my, my best bet. I hear Cricket says you talk about many different things during your stream, so maybe people are tuning in and they basically know I'm not talking about learning to cook anymore and they want to see what else we're talking about. Spirit with soul. Yes, I eat out all the time when I because I don't cook. But go back if you ha if you, if you want to know about the cooking stuff, rewind the stream. Just rewind the stream. We covered it all. We did, we we covered all the cooking stuff in like the first hour of the stream. Uh, Benjamin says, what is this channel about? Oh, Benjamin. Benjamin, if you're looking for an answer to that, uh, uh, what can I tell you? 
It's about me cleaning my apartment and, and making people watch it. That's what it's about. Do a sleeping stream. Jeez. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Like, I, I have no idea. I, I, so look, this, it's just like in a big, this stream is like a big experiment. I will say there have been a couple times, there have been a couple times where I just did streams that were long. Like the cleaning stream, I just stayed on the air because that's the one where I cleaned my apartment. If you want to see that stream, I'll put this in. in the, in the, I'll put a, I have to write down the time code for my YouTube card for when I put it in. If you want to see the stream where I cleaned my apartment, you can click on it right here. Uh, but we did that stream. Now I'll just, I'll show you where it is on the page. We did that stream and that was where? The home stream. I cleaned my apartment live. Uh, so that was a stream where I was just staying on the air because I, I just, it took me a while to clean my apartment. And I feel like People just kind of joined the stream because it stayed on longer, <laughs> not for any other good reason. So I don't know if there's this thing where people just join the stream when it stays on longer. Uh, let's see here. I do need to uh, clean my place at some point again soon, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I also do, excuse me, I need to do some laundry soon, but I don't think I'm going to do a laundry stream because then there's, there's not much really about doing the laundry that's really that distinctive when I do it. Spirit with Soul says you're like late night TV with like no production. Yeah, so, so hey, th for, for some reason, hey, Benjamin Ostrom just subscribed. Benjamin is one of the only people who has discovered this channel. This is a rare event. Benjamin actually discovered this channel, I guess on YouTube, and, and subscribe now. That's, for, for this channel, that's not, that doesn't usually happen. For this channel, it's mostly the people who, who, who know Agenda Free TV already and know me. It's very rare when that happens. Uh, let's see. Wash and detail your car. You know, the thing, like, can I mention something about car washes? They have these amazing, when I was in Opelika, Alabama for a year, they had these fantastic car washes. They were called, what was it called? There's a chain of them and they're so good. And like nowhere, everywhere, everywhere else has crappy car washes. Goo Goo Car Wash. Goo Goo Car Wash is great. They're so good. Goo Goo Express Wash. They're only like in Alabama, I think. Goo Goo Express Wash. Goo Goo Car Wash. There's like four of them. Let's see if I can find you photos of one of them. And they're so good. Uh, and like most places, like when I lived in Roswell, Georgia, they didn't even have car washes. And a lot of places that have them, there's like a couple of them and they're really expensive. Like Goo Goo is like, it's an awesome car wash. You drive through, there's vacuums after, it costs you like eight bucks. It was great. Let's see if I can find you any pictures of it. There are these yellow locations. And I was like, why is it only in Opelika, Alabama that they have good car washes? Uh, there it is. Oh, I got it. See the yellow signs? Goo goo. Ex and then they have everybody who works there, like wears like white shirts and red ties and, and, and slacks. So check out Goo Goo Car Wash. And then, and then nowhere else has decent car washes. Oh, Julie Graves, thanks for the donation. Julie says, I'm giving one of those bug racket zappers you recommended on the uh, cleaning stream as a gift for this Christmas. Let me, let, me show, let me show the viewers what Julie's talking about. Hold on. So this is, this is what Julie is talking about. Uh, this is a, uh, it's a bug zapper. And it's, 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 it's life changing. It's the best thing. Because like those little fruit flies that you try to you try to slap and you try to grab and they always just elude you, not anymore, not with this thing. When I moved, 
last time I, I, I lost the battery cover. So this is the really, I mean, this is kind of embarrassing. This is how I keep this right now. But you know what? It works fine. So you press, you press the button and the, right, the light goes on. Uh, and then you, if there's a bug, you slap it. Or you just put it on. You can just put it on top of it and it'll fly into it. But I don't like killing bugs. I like to let things leave. But when they're like fruit flies and they're annoying, this is how you get them. Mosquitoes too. It's fantastic. I have also used it to stun a roach. When a roach, uh, uh, like, like, you know, you couldn't grab them, but you can stun them with this. Then you can like throw them out of your apartment. So these... Uh, I don't even think this one, there's a bunch of these on Amazon. I'll, sh I'll show you what they look like, but they're, they're, there's like, they're all like, who knows who makes them. But um, the one I got, they don't even sell it anymore, but it's really good. Uh, bug, zapper, let's see. Bug. Yeah, I got this one. Currently unavailable, but they sell a lot of other ones. The Veon Electric Fly Swatter Wasp Trap Mosquito Fly Killer Electric Bug Zapper. I think they were trying for going for some SEO, search engine optimization here. Uh, but I guess this is the popular one. This has 3,500 reviews. Maybe if I, if I ever replace my one with no battery cover on it, maybe I'll try that one. Hey, I'm going to put a link to this one. I'm going to put a link to this one in, 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 the, in the description. But remember, I haven't tried this one, but it looks like it's highly reviewed. All right, let me let me let me change the description. Uh, uh, edit. Link to bug zapper. Swatter. <laughs> it is in the description. I have I have put the link in the description. But yeah, it, that's a, it's a very good thing to have. For, it's the best thing for fruit flies. Those, the little flies that like fly around and they, and they fly slowly and they're these dark black things, but you just can't grab them. Like you try to smash them and, then, and you think you've gotten them and they fly away. This thing, it, it just takes these situations that were so frustrating. Before. You actually like having fruit flies. It's fun to have fruit flies with this. Because then you can kill them. Uh, so there. Oh, um, let's see. Uh, Nils says, don't kill insects. They're dying already. A fair point, Nils. Gem8 says, that didn't work for me when I bought one for mosquitoes. I've used this for mosquitoes um, before. So anyways, uh, I recommend that. Thank you, Julie, for buying one of those for your friend. <laughs> All right, let's get back here. Again, for some reason, I have no idea. I, I really don't know why people keep joining this live stream. Oh, Hannah wants me to check my Amazon associates income. So people have, have gone to my links on Amazon and then they buy other stuff. But I get, uh, if they buy it within 24 hours, I get a little cut of it. So because people are doing it, Amazon Associates, hang on. I currently have, uh, hey, I need all the income I can get <laughs> to keep all this afloat. Oh my gosh. I've almost made $100 from people buying stuff, mostly stuff that I didn't recommend. <laughs> Look at that, $98.95. Thank you. Thank you guys for using Amazon and doing so within 24 hours of clicking on one of my links, even though you're not buying stuff I recommended. <laughs> there you go. Great. Maybe it's the lights. Now, people are buying some stuff I recommended, but a lot of the stuff people are buying I didn't recommend. All right, new F dog says, can you link it to Amazon Canada? I, I've, I've gotten questions before. People say, I live in the UK, I live in Canada. Can you link it? The problem is they have this thing called OneLink where if I had a website 
and I was coding my website in, if I was inputting like the code for the HTML L code for the website, there's, a co there's, there's code I could use to make the link change itself depending on what country you're in. But that code won't, won't work in my YouTube description. So I would have to literally put in for every different country uh, a different link. If you're from another country and you want to buy something on Amazon and you want me to give you a link to it, I probably can do that. Message me on Twitter and say, hey, Steve, I'm in Canada. I was going to buy this product. Can you send me a link to it? I probably can do that, but you'll have to make a special request because I, the, the way they have it set up, I, I can't do it. I can't just post. I'm not going to post like different links for different countries every time. Oh, thank you, TJ, for the donation. That's very kind of you, TJ. I appreciate it. Thank you. Misha says, do you see Tyler Candles on there? Misha, did you buy Tyler Candles? There's so many items. Yes. Misha, Misha wants us to look at, I guess Misha, so I'm... I'll show you one of the items somebody bought that I got credit for. Diva Mixer Melts by Tyler Candle. A warm and complex fragrance overflowing with delicious fruits. See, again, I don't know what this is. Is this a food? Is it a candle? What, what is a Diva Mixer Melt? Like, I literally don't know what this product is. I would say the majority of items that people buy on Amazon that I get credit for because they buy within 24 hours of clicking on one of my links. The majority of objects people buy, when I first see the item, I literally don't know what kind of object it is. So this is a mixer melt. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Mixer melt? A fragrance? Six cubes? Cubes of what? Six cubes per package. What are the cubes? Then there's no more description. Then it says six cubes per package set of three. I, I, you melt them. Christopher says you melt them. Okay, hold on. Misha, now, Misha, that, that was Misha who bought it. All right, so what are people saying this thing is? We're going to do a whole stream of these at one point. They're for wax warmers. Wait, what? Scented, they're not candles. Cubes of fragrance wax, says Gem8. Well, for what? You melt them. Well, why? Disrupted says you melt them and they smell good. Fahrenheit 451 says it's candle wax. You put them in a wax burner. What's a wax burner? What are these items? What are these things you guys have? What are these objects you use? For smell? I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty worldly guy. I feel like I, I've been around different places. I know lots of different kinds of people. I've never in my life heard of some kind of thing. Um... Now, Misha says it's a candle. Misha says it's a candle. Diva is the scent. But it says it's cubes. This is really weird. I, I feel like this is the Truman Show. I feel like you've all made up a product and you're trying to convince me it's a real thing. Uh, but it actually doesn't exist. And then it's going to be a big joke at the end when you say, ha ha, Steve, there is no actual thing called a melty melt. What is it called? Mixer melt. Mixer melt? I'm looking this up. This is like the fifth time this has happened with some product. Uh, yeah, I remember the la last, last, a few days ago, it was butter powder. Somebody, somebody ordered butter powder, and I got a little, a little credit for that from Amazon. And, and it's like, what? Butter powder? Okay, now here's a description about mixer melts. This is from the website. This is Tyler Candle Store. It says, uh, how do I show this to you? Hang on. Get this on the screen. Tyler 
Tyler Wax Mixer Melt, set of four. These small melting blocks or tarts. What? Tarts? These small melting blocks or tarts come in all your favorite Tyler scents. Simply add them to your mixer melter? My what? Radiant Fragrance Warmer? My what? Or Scentsy Warmer? Or my Scentsy Warmer? Oh, oh now, now I get what these are. Now I get what mixer melts are. It's just, I just add them to my Scentsy Warmer. Oh, why didn't you just say so? If you just said, Steve, these are the things you add to your Scentsy Warmer, then I would have known what they are. The mixer melter will heat the mixer melts for 30 to 60 minutes until the wax has completely melted, allowing your favorite scent to last for hours. What? Why? The wax melts and then it smells? Many customers also enjoy creating their own fragrance by combining a few, I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. This makes no sense. Scentsy warmer. Sense, Scentsy warmer. Hey, look, guys. Look. Simply add them to your Scentsy warmer. Scentsy warmer. Gosh. Yeah, uh, Stax, Stax thinks it's weed. Uh, Misha says, melts are incredible. Look for the Tyler candles as well. I bought three candles and one pack of melts. Tyler band is the belt, is the best. I wonder if Misha is, I wonder if Tyler candles is just Misha's business. <laughs> See, Rick Hoppy's right. Rick Hoppy says he has no idea what a Scentsy Warmer is. Fahrenheit 451 says Scentsy Warmer is just the brand. Look, if, if one of you guys, I, I, I'll say this. Let me make you an offer. If one of you guys wants to send me mixer melts and Scentsy Warmer and all these weird objects, I will do a live stream where I try this stuff out. I ain't paying for it myself, believe me. But I have a P.O. box. I'm going to give you the P.O. box address right now. I'm going to give you the P.O. box address right now. I'll put it on the screen if I can figure out how to do this. I'm going to put it on the screen right now. Hang on. And it, Amy says, I just ordered something. Can you see if it shows up on your thingy? Amy, I think it might take a little while. I think it takes like 24 hours for things to show up. I don't think they show up immediately. I think they update it like once a day. I think. So thank you for ordering, but I probably won't see it till tomorrow. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, I just checked to see if it was updated. It hasn't updated. Um, hold on. Let me, let me, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to put my P.O. box address on the screen. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. All right, ready? Um... Uh, P.O. Box. I think this is it. Hang on. Hold on. Joanna now. Joanna says she wants to send me wax melts and a warmer. Okay. So I'm going to give you the P.O. Box address. Oh, Linda just posted the, uh, the P.O. Box in the chat room. Thank you, Joanna, for the donation and for also for offering. Uh, thank you, Amy Ishikawa, for your donation as well. Thank you, Amy. Uh, let me, I'll, I'll show you the P.O. Box. Linda just posted the P.O. Box address in the, um, in the, uh, in the chat room. Yeah, this is it. Let me just make it a little bigger for you to see. Um, and you can look at it. All right, here's my P.O. Box address right here. Steve Lochner, P.O. Box 77421, Atlanta, Georgia. 30357. So if you want me to try out, so Joanna, if you want to send me the waxy melts and the scentsy warmers and whatever other crazy products with crazy nonsense names uh, that you want to send me to try out, I will do, I'll do a stream as long as it's not a fire hazard. I'll do a stream where I try it out because uh, I don't know what this thing is, uh, but send it to that address. It just hold, just it can't be something that explodes because it's going to the post office. 
Uh, Misha says, I've been burning Tyler candles for 12 years, not an ad. I don't know, Misha. Misha, you've been pushing two things on this broadcast. You've been pushing a three-day green cleanse and Tyler Mixie whatever they are. Mixie warmers. Mixie warmers? <laughs> what is it here? Mixer melts. Hey, I'm going to put this. I'm, I'm putting a link. I'm putting a link into the description. I'm putting this link into the description. Hang on. I got the link. Let me just, uh, let me update the description. Let me update the description. Edit. Uh, uh, link to mixer melts. In parentheses, question mark. All right, it's in the description. There you go. I am going to do at some point I am going to do. So this is the kind of this is the kind of gold we find when we look at what you buy on Amazon and I get credit for because you bought it within 24 hours after clicking on one of my recommended links. So we will do a stream at some point where cuz there's now like over 100 things that people have bought most of which I've gotten credit for for on Amazon most of which I didn't recommend. So we will do a stream where I literally just look at these items. Because again, the majority of them are things that I've, I've just never heard of. And I, I still don't understand what these things are. So I hope Joanna or somebody else sends them to me and I'll, and I'll try it on the air. And that way I can figure out what they are. Because I don't know what they are. Uh, oh, uh, Julie Graves made a donation. Julie says, I tweeted you a picture of a wax warmer. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Thanks, Julie, for the donation. Okay, you know what's funny? Julie said, Julie said she fiction, Julie said, um, Julie said she said she tweeted me a picture of a wax warmer and I, I, I opened up my Twitter and the first thing I saw was this tweet and I was like, that's it? But it was, it was, it was the uh, Australia Fires picture that Carol Campbell sent me. So for, for like a second, I thought that was the waxy warmer. Uh, wax warmer. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. What am I looking at? Sorry. Yeah, it's hard for me to get it all on the screen at once. Um, I got to do something about this. But for now, let me just do it this way. I'll, I'll change the setting so I can do it. So Julie said this is a wax warmer. I, I don't know what it does. It's a can. You mean it's a candle? It's a candle? So it's a picture of a candle? All right, I guess. Do you put the do you put the butter powder in this? Scentsy warmer? Hey, thank thank you, uh, Misha, for another donation. Thank you, Misha. Misha says, not ad or my business. I'll send recipes, burners, and Tyler's melts for you to your P.O. box. My biz is event planning and PR. This, you know what happened is Christopher Lund came into the stream and he made his donation, which is very generous. And ever since then, this stream has really gotten weird. The light bulb melts the smelly wax, says Gemate. Mark Helton says you can pop popcorn in it. Sensi warmer? <laughs> yeah, Karen Coberly says this is great, greatly entertaining. Can't wait to see what you can receive. <laughs> Can't wait to see what you receive. I wonder what people are going to send me in my P.O. box. Misha says, can't I just suggest things without a motive? I love candles and green drinks. True story. I don't know, Misha. It seems, everything seems kind of suspicious you're, 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 you're suggesting. Because it's things I've never heard of before. <laughs> See, Michelle Sparks says, breaking news, the stream has, al has always been weird. <laughs> Christopher Lund says, you're welcome, question mark. Oh my gosh. Joanna says, I'm ordering it right now. All right, well, we'll, we'll see. Oh, Freckles is there. Hey, I, got, I, I was supposed to make Freckles a moderator and I forgot. Freckles is a, is a, is a moderator in, in this channel. Thank you, Freckles, for moderating. Welcome our newest moderator, Freckles. Also, Upstate Dad, Idaho Star, Joanna, Linda Belk, Mark Helton, 
all of our other moderators who were there. Rurban is there, Upstate Dad, Garth Russell, uh, but Freckles, Freckles too. I had forgotten, to, Freckles was supposed to be made a moderator and I just forgot. Havasu Mom as well, I forgot about that. There you go. So that was my fault. That was supposed to be done a month ago, I just forgot. Fahrenheit 451 says, don't leave those things unattended. How do, what were we even talking about? Now, I don't, I don't even know, what were we talking about before? There was something else I was talking about and I got taken off track by this whole discussion of the wax melt sensi warmer stuff. I don't, even, I don't even remember what we were talking about. I don't remember. You know what I think? Here, here's why some people join the stream. You know, guys, I know why, I know why some extra viewers joined the stream last night. What's different, guys? What's different tonight than before? What's different? Come on, you know this. You know this, viewers. Somebody's going to say it. What's different tonight than before? What's different? Somebody say it in the chat room. Oh, thank you, Nahak Vlogs from, from Norway. Merry Christmas, host. Greetings from Norway. Nahak Vlogs says, Merry Christmas, host. Nahak Vlogs, I think, it, I, think you, I think you give me too much credit by calling me a host. I think there's some kind of competency that's implied with the word host. But thank you, Nahak Vlogs from Norway. I appreciate that. What's different? Nobody's getting it. Nobody. Yes, Jan Porter. Ding, 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 Jan Porter. This is what's different. Oh, we're using a microphone tonight. That's why people, people didn't join the streams before because the audio was so crappy. So this is our, this is our first night with the magical uh, Blue Yeti blackout microphone. If you want to see, if, I think I, I can't link twice to the same broad, I can't put up another YouTube card for it because I already, I already had one earlier in the broadcast. But if you want to see our, our, our unboxing of it, um, if you're new to the channel, if you want to see our two hour and 46 minute unboxing of the Blue Yeti microphone last night, you can go to Lookner channel and you can watch the Blue Yeti microphone unboxing. A, a big reason it took so much time to do is because we were noticing all of the differences between this non third party seller one and the third party seller one we opened uh, in a different one, which was, where's that one? Blue Yeti mic from third party seller. Yeah, that was kind of dubious. So if you want to see the, if you want to see the microphone stream from the third party seller, uh, watch right here. I'll put that in after in a YouTube card, but I have to write down the time code again. Or you can just go to our YouTube page and watch yourself and figure and find out where it is. 206, wherever. Where did I say this? What was the time code? Uh-huh. That's about 207. And that's the third party. Okay. Yeah, it's not limp. This the, the, the mic I'm using, the third party one kept falling over. This has not fallen over once. I I th are 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 we at a um are we at a, a live viewer for this channel? I mean, not for the other channel, but for Lookner channel, is this the most people we've had watching a live stream? <laughs> the live stream that has a title about should I learn to cook and we're not talking about that at all anymore? I think it's the microphone. I'm almost out of the wa I'm out of, almost out of water. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, but I did do it, guys. I did do it. For those who haven't watched it yet, uh, if you do go to the Blue Yeti microphone unboxing stream, I did, out of the goodness of my heart, I, I did it so that if you look down, I said, note, if you want to get straight to the unboxing, it starts at one hour and 31 seconds. You can click on that and go to it. And then you only have to go through an hour and 46 minutes of an unboxing rather than two hours and 46 minutes. So I did put a link to it. See, I told you I'd do it. Also, I put the link in here to the to the Owl Latch Hook Kit. If you were wondering where the link to the Owl Latch Hook Kit is, uh, go to the description in that in that stream from last night. See there, I'm unboxing it. I'm unboxing it. See, don't want to spoil it for you. No spoilers. Uh. 
Oh my gosh. Why do people keep watching this live stream? I don't, I don't know why anyone's tuning in. We're not even talking about the topic anymore. We're not even talking about the topic. I think people watch because they're confused and they're trying to figure out what's going on. And they can't. Uh, let's see. Hey, thank you, Christian Muntinu. Muntinu. Christian Muntinu made a donation. Thank you, Christian. That's very nice of you. Amy V keeps telling me I need a vacation and somebody should pay for it. I don't know why Amy V thinks I need a vacation. I mean, if somebody pays for it, I'm happy to take it. But I mean, I don't know why Amy V. Amy V keeps insisting I need a vacation. Spirit with soul says people just want to come on here and chat. Yeah, it's entirely possible that people are just joining the broadcast and not listen. People might be muting me um, and uh, just talking amongst themselves, which is fine with me. It's kind of sad that there are no captions yet. You can't turn on live captions. Uh, you can turn on uh, captions in our YouTube channel. So if I show you this, look. So this is, oops, there we go. That's the video from last night. I'll are. mute myself, but I'll turn the cap. There should be captions here. Hey, what happened to captions? No captions? Hmm, now I'm confused. Because bef- I, I have been able to watch with captions. Have they not put captions on this one yet? I don't see it there. That's weird. Some of our videos have captions. Does this one have captions? This one has captions. Maybe it has to wait. Yeah, I think it maybe it takes a couple days to put the captions on. See, so that has captions on it. So you can watch, you can... Uh... Yeah, if you're wondering about the ch- what the channel's about, this is some of the high-quality content you're missing. Me talking about my neighbor's car in the garage. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Amy says the reason people join the stream is definitely for the chatters. Yeah, Linda says people are waiting for me to start talking about cooking. People think that I'm going to get to the cooking and they don't really realize we stopped with the cooking uh, like an over an hour ago. I barely even I barely even remember what we talked about. I'm going to to figure out what we discussed about the cooking. I'm going to have to go watch the stream myself. I'm going to have to rewatch my own stream to figure out what we talked about. Uh, Misha says PR Steve PR's viewers I don't understand I don't understand Misha thanks for the donation though PR Steve PR's viewers PR oh Misha's saying her public relations got us the viewers I got it thank you Misha this is so odd this is this is one of the oddest streams we've ever done Oh, Hannikin says it's the Saturday night before a holiday. People have been to parties. They're coming home intoxicated or other things and not ready for bed yet. Okay. I mean, I'm going to have to get my other water bottle in a second because I'm almost out of water in this bottle. How about that? I, I literally have to get my other water bottle right now. I, I'm out of water. I have to go to the refrigerator and get my other water bottle. That's how much streaming we've done. Water bottle number two. I mean, come on. Hey, thank you, Rob Van Roy, for the donation. Thank you, Rob Van Roy. Thank you. Um, Hannah says, maybe people are coming in the chat from other countries where it's morning now. I bet we're still not showing up. I bet if I check on YouTube Live, I bet we're still not showing up there. We're not on YouTube Live. They're not, they're not putting me on there. Look, YouTube Live. Live YouTube. Watch. Live YouTube. Yeah, we're definitely not live now. I mean, these, these have thousands of people watching. So we're not there. 
Live Now Gaming, we're not there. Live Now Sports, we're not there. Recent live streams, upcoming live streams. Live Now Technology, no way we're on that. Uh, live Now Animals, we should be on that, but we're not. Live Mobile live streams, no, we're not on that. Uh, recent mobile live streams. There's webcam live streams. Webcam live streams. Well, what? You can't see it. It's too far down, but we're not on that either. Yeah, we're not listed on here. Amy says you're on IP2. Um, Dan Patch Videos is wondering if there's a blizzard somewhere in the country and people are, are stuck at home and that's why they're watching. Ice cold beverage. The, 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 the cooking discussion ended us with us dis 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 deciding that I will do a, um, I will try to do a stir fry and I'm going to do a live stream of me stir frying a meal. That's what we decided. Chicken, chicken and vegetables. And fortunately, there's been, um, what? Hey, I just want to show you this. Uh, I was looking for breaking news to make sure there was no breaking news going on, but I just saw this. Reports of multiple non-occupied passenger buses on fire at Los Angeles International Airport. So there's nobody in the buses, but there are passenger buses on fire at LAX Airport. I don't know why passenger buses with nobody in them are on fire at LAX. There's a report reportedly. Anyways, so I wonder what's up with that. Yeah, look at this. This person, Schooly, said, this is not what you want to see driving into LAX. Yeah, look, LAX airport. There is a significant fire emergency at the LAX at lot. Emergency responders are on scene. More to come. No immediate reports of injuries. So it sounds like, like a bus is on fire. A bus or buses are on fire. Oh, a vehicle fire. A vehicle fire, it says. I don't know. Very strange. What's up with this? Oh, look. Images of buses on fire. A bus is on fire. It's a bus on fire. This is from LAFD. A bus is on fire at the, uh, or LA exit is on fire. Jo Joseph Porras, fire. That's a bus on fire. Uh, Chris Sagan says a propane bus is on fire at LAX. Oh, Juan Fernandez says three passenger buses are on fire. Oh, but they're not occupied. So these are non-occupied buses. I'm going to unretweet that because that makes it seem like they're occupied. Uh, LAFD talk says varying reports of two or three non-occupied buses on fire. Okay. So that's what's going on there. I am not going to cover that on Agenda Free TV because it's two or three non-occupied buses on fire. I'm just letting you know. Hey, Peak Time Racing is here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if the multiple... Fahrenheit 451 thinks it's intentional. I, I don't know if the two or three buses on fire is intentional or not. 
Peak time racing, the Amazon sales are going well. Thank you for asking. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Love Beauty subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Love Beauty, for subscribing. Yeah, Christopher Lund says I'm about to retire off of the Amazon, um, the Amazon uh, money. I need to, you know, something something people have told me to look into. People said you should like stream with Streamlabs, but it, it, it doesn't work for agenda free TV for various reasons. Because I don't want all this stuff popping up on the screen, you know, when I'm covering like a serious news story. But I don't know with like something like Streamlabs, what does it have? What comes popping up on the screen? Like if people subscribe, I guess it would give put a notification up there or something like that with Streamlabs. Um, but I can't use it for agenda free. TV. I've looked into using it for agenda free TV, and I remember looking into it and saying, no, no, that wouldn't be good for agenda free TV. Um, but uh, I don't know about using it with this. I'd have to, I'll have to look into it. I don't know. I don't even know what it would, I mean, I guess, what would it do? Would like the chat pop up on screen? But you can see the chat here. Donation and subscriber notifications. Yeah, I mean, so the thing is though, this stream is only on YouTube. So if people donate, it does come up on the, in the chat room. Uh, the, I guess the only thing it would do is it would, it would, if people subscribe, their name would pop up or something like that. Peak Time Racing says lots of other cool things. I'll look into it. Rob is in the Netherlands. Anyone else have anything to say about Streamlabs? <laughs> to say for or against Streamlabs? Tony says, yes, you should check it out. All right, how long have we been on the air for? Two hours and 21 minutes. Two hours and 21 minutes. I don't know, guys. I, I feel like, I feel like, you know, maybe... Oh, Peak Time Racing says, I use it on my gaming channel. I think maybe we've reached the limit. I think this is as many people who are going to join a stream, uh, should I learn to cook for myself where the person is no longer talking about that at all. I think we've reached the limit. Maybe we have. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, Jeff Jeff sent me this. Jeff said we're listed on IP it's Ice Poseidon network. So, there's a bunch of stream live streams listed on Ice Poseidon Network. There's more down here. So we're one of them listed. So maybe people are finding us through that. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff Wiz, let me know. No, we're not, we're not going to do a news stream on the buses. <laughs> uh, hey, thank you. Uh, Weekly TV, you're always asking about my production, Weekly TV. I don't talk about my production on the air. Thank you for the donation, though, Weekly TV. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Luna Girl, for your kind words. That's very nice of you. Legends and icons like the background. If you like the background, if you like the background and you're new to the channel and you want to know how we set up the background, well, 
It's thanks to our Melpo colored lights. We did a stream about it. And that stream is called, hold on. The stream is called, it's called Colored Lights Unboxing. You can watch it. Colored Lights Unboxing. And you can watch it right here. Oh, I'm sticking in another YouTube card after the broadcast at time code 225. <laughs> Colored Lights. And, and if you want to um, actually see the lights themselves that I use behind me, which are lovely, uh, you can go to Amazon, and I'm going to post the link right now in the chat, in, in the, uh, I'm going to post the link right now in the description, and you can see these lights. The Melpo lights, that's the ones I use. That's how I get the background. And I just need to, can I do this the right way? I need to edit and stick the link to the lights. Link to Melpo colored lights. I just stuck it in the, uh, just stuck it in the description. That's how we get the background. It's just a blank wall. I'm very lazy and I have no background except for colored lights. I use them out of desperation to not have no background. Yes, you get two remotes with a set of two, but one can control both lights as Peak Time Racing says. Misha's going to sleep. Bye, Misha. Thank you, Misha, for joining the stream and for your donations. I appreciate it, Misha. And your links. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, that, that live stream was two and a half hours of, uh, of colored lights. Hey, Brian Gren, the Harvard Lampoon's great. Thank you. I used to love skewers in Harvard Square, but it went out of business. All right, guys, I, we're getting close. If you have any comments, you better say them soon. You bet, we're, we're, getting, we're getting towards the latter part of the stream. We're getting towards the end of the stream. So if you have any comments, get them out now. I'm very much looking forward to our, uh, to our cooking stream where I cook a... Uh, where I live cook a uh, stir fry. So, so last call for comments. If you have comments, if you want to say something in the chat, Brian, who is your dad? Brian Gren. Who is your dad, Brian Gren? Julie Graves says it's almost time for bed. We, we've hit the bedtime for a lot of our viewers, whatever time zone they're in. Linda, I don't, I, I hopefully we'll do the cooking stream in the next few days. I, I need to watch some videos about cooking stir fry. That's what I need to do. So I know what to go get from the market. So just be ready. Uh, Maria, we're not taking new moderators on this channel right now, but if that changes, I'll let you know. See, I don't know about doing a 3.30 a.m. stream now. I did that poll where I asked if people, would people watch if I did a, a late night live stream? Like, and then a, a, it was like, some people I said yes, and some people said they'd be asleep. Yeah, here's the poll. Right here. Would you watch a late night live stream? 51% yes. I don't know. 40% said they, they would if they weren't asleep. Maybe the people who are leaving now are the 40% who said this. Seems like we have an early audience. 
that's not that early. I, I just, I have crazy hours. Hey, thank you, Rita Lamar. Thank you, Rita, for the donation. I appreciate it. Oh, and thank you, Fahrenheit451. Thank you. Fahrenheit wants me to do a movie review. Yeah, somebody else suggested that earlier, Fahrenheit. Um, I need to think about it just because I wouldn't want to do a movie review uh, and have nobody have seen the movie. So I'll think about it because we've gotten a couple of requests for a movie review. I got to think about if there's a way to do it where people would, you know, would, would, would be a movie that people have seen. Oh my gosh, Christopher Lund, another donation. Oh, that's very kind and generous of you. Thank you, our, our, our uh, Agenda Free TV moderator, Christopher Lund. So generous. And Christopher has also offered to pay if I ever do a Lookner Channel live streaming trip to Austin. So very generous support. Thank you, Christopher. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Christopher Lund. A pleasure seeing you, Christopher. And I know everybody enjoyed chatting with you. Good to have you in the chat. Thank you. That's very nice of you, Christopher. Thank you. Jimmy Skaggs said he would watch of you at 3 a.m. Wow, that's very nice of Christopher. Very nice of him. What can I say? What can I say about that? All right, if you have comments, get, the, get them in now. We're finishing up the broadcast soon. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Jan says she would watch at 3 a.m. Tim says he would watch at 3 a.m. We, we might do, um, yeah, we might do a 3 a.m. stream at some point. Let me just see something here. Let me check something here real quick. Okay, that's working. What an odd stream this was. YT would lost at 3 a.m. Would watch at 3 a.m. Yeah, you know, it's possible if we did a stream at 3 a.m. it would be an entirely different audience. Who knows who would be in the chat room then? I have no idea who would be in the chat room yet. Then. I don't know. I'm doing the stir fry in this. This is the one, one pan I have. As I mentioned before, this will be the, this is the stir fry pan right here. Judy says, "What about another creator as a guest? If a famous creator wants to come on the show, please read out to me, reach out to me at eight, at Lookner on Twitter." I think I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to get a new pan for stir fry my first time. I'm going to make, I'll use this, uh, and then if it goes pretty well and I want to do it again, maybe I'll think about getting a new pan. Don't, you don't want to, don't want to put the equipment before the doing. Yeah, the pan is, the pan is fine. I trust all the people who say the pan is fine. See, Wellness Sarah says you got to see if it works first. I agree. Oh, here's an update, guys. An update from LAX. Three passenger buses that were unoccupied caught fire at Los Angeles Airport. I have no idea why. Three passenger buses caught fire, but nobody was in them, supposedly. Guys, if I, I'll say this, if, if, if I, I'll, I'm going to do the stir fry, if I decide to do stir fry more, maybe we'll do a stream where you help me figure out what kind of pan to get, okay? That's what we'll do. So if I decide to stir fry more and I decide to get a new pan, I will let you, we'll do a stream and you can uh, give your two cents about what pan I get. And maybe I'll even buy the pan on the air. 
I'll do a stream and I'll say, We're gonna, I'm going to come on here and buy a pan and you're going to help me. And then after that, we'll talk for two hours about something else. We'll do a whole stream on it. Goodness knows I can. I, I need programming. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then Mimo says pan shopping and then pan unboxing. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. The pan alone could give me so many live streams <laughs> just from a pan. Uh, hold on a second. I need to I need to hide someone. I'm timing them out. And then a review. Yeah, I can, you can do review the pan. Yeah, exactly. No third party seller pans. Right. I'm not I'm not ordering a pan from a third party seller. Oh, just a quick update, guys. So you know how I ordered how, how before ordering this awesome microphone from Best Buy, uh, not a third party seller. I ordered the version from the third party seller and it was just it was really dubious and bad and had all these things wrong with it. Um, the third party seller. I, ordered, I, I said I should go to Amazon and I should leave feedback about that seller because I want other people to know not to order from that seller because I got a microphone with a lot of dubious things about it when I, and I was not satisfied with my purchase. Um, so I went to leave a review for, the, for, the, for Gift Pick. Uh, the, 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 the third party seller who sold me this is Gift Pick, their name isn't Gift Pick anymore. They have, they've, they've changed their name which I find quite sketchy. Uh, and the name of the seller, which used to be Gift Pick, is now Last Minute Deals. But it's, it's, it's Gift Pick. It's, they changed their name from Gift Pick to Last Minute Deals. So they've changed their name, the third party seller. Yeah, I, actually, some people are wondering if, if they saw the stream and they said, we got to change our name. Mimo says the seller, the seller formerly known as Gift Pick. Yeah, if, if, you didn't, if you didn't catch the stream last night, we, we went through and we opened up this awesome non-third party seller microphone. And in doing so, uh, in doing so, we, uh, it's right here, this stream here. In doing so, we kept finding things that were different about the non-third party seller microphone from the packaging to the microphone itself. And it just became more and more apparent that the microphone the third party seller sold as new. And that was sold as an Amazon, but what is it called? Amazon deal where Amazon provides the shipping and provides the support. So it's like Amazon seller or whatever. What do they call it when Amazon seller? Um, Amazon, what is it called? Uh, but, but anyways, it just became, as we were unboxing this microphone, it became more and more apparent that that thing, <laughs> That thing I got from the third party seller was not like a brand new microphone like you'd get from like Best Buy because it just wasn't. There were all these differences. Uh, don't they have a name for this free Amazon product? They used to have a name for like when a third party seller was fulfilled by Amazon. Why does it say fulfilled by Amazon? Oh, it says fulfilled by Amazon. That's what it is. Fulfilled by Amazon. That's what it is. Oh, hey, Christopher Lund is still in the chat. Awesome. Dan Patch Videos says, last deals you will ever want. Yeah, fulfilled by Amazon is what I was thinking of. Hey, everybody, we got to thank the moderators for moderating. Linda Belk, Mark Helton, Upstate Dad, Freckles. Thank you, mods. Idaho Star, Garth Russell. Christopher Lund says, keep trying to leave.
All right, guys, it's getting very close. It's getting very close. I might take a few last comments on this very odd stream we've done tonight, but it's been fun. And uh, and now I am going to, and then I will, I'm going to watch some videos about how to stir fry. Oh, you know what was great? Normally I work out at night. I, I, I just realized this. Normally I work out at night because I, I don't want to interfere with my work stuff during the day. But I hadn't, my workout schedule had been terrible lately because there's been so much news to cover and, and streams. So I actually got up today and worked out. And I just realized like, oh, I don't have to go work out. right. Normally I'd, I'd have to go work out right after this, late at night. So, so I don't have to tonight because I worked out earlier today, which is great. So, they, so, I, so I can watch some stir fry videos. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go watch some stir fry videos. I'm literally going to skid off the air and watch stir fry videos. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, there's it's a, uh, Memo Grant says no one will leave until Steve does. I mean, I wonder if I, is, is the experiment, do I just sit here and see how long it takes people to get off the stream? Although it's possible like people have just fallen asleep at their computers. See, sometimes it happens. Sometimes if I cover a long news stream and I find, and the stream finally ends, you see some people drop off, but there still might be like six, 700 people or more watching at the end. And then you realize, oh, they were, they're not actually watching anymore. Like they've fallen asleep or they walked away from their computer because you can tell you finish the broadcast and there's still people watching. So I think what happens is sometimes people just watch and they, they, they close the wind, they, they, they open up another window. By the way, can I say this about the microphone? I've never had a microphone just at my everyday computer before. And something I am shocked at is, so I did find like Google has an integrated thing where you can go on Google, a Google page and you can, you click on the microphone button and you can actually do a voice search if you go to Google. Um, you can actually do a voice search there. If you're in Chrome, if you're in Chrome only, you can do a voice search. Uh, but I'm just shocked that like, it's like if you want to do, like I'm shocked at this point, there's not something in Windows or all major browsers that just lets you plug in a microphone and just start, uh, like what I should be able to whenever I want, instead of typing, just speak into the microphone. So wherever there's a cursor on the screen, I should be able to speak into the microphone Hit a button, speak in the microphone, and have it have it appear. That functionality doesn't exist. There, you have to like get these weird extensions or add-ons, and they don't work perfectly. It's it just seems like in this day and age, why is there not that basic functionality that if you have a microphone, there should be a thing wherever a cursor is on the screen, I can press a button and just talk, and it writes types. It just dictates that into the where the into the field wherever the cursor is. I'm telling you, that's not part of Windows. It's not part of Chrome. It's not part of Firefox. It's really weird. It's 2000, it's almost 2020 and that functionality doesn't exist. It's really weird. Dan Patch video says some browsers don't support that because of privacy concerns. Yeah. Maybe there's a certain browser I could do it on. Misha says, I've fallen asleep to you many times. Misha, weren't you leaving? Misha said she was leaving. Christopher Lund said he was leaving. Nobody, people, they're blaming me because they don't want to leave the stream. Mimo, the problem is I, I can't do a stream about watching stir fry tutorials because uh, because I can't show other YouTube videos on on this broad broadcast. Julie Graves hasn't left yet. Wow. Maybe that's generally who my audience is. It's people who want to leave, but they can't bring themselves to. Grand D says, I was, I said I was leaving several times. Uh, 
By the way, it is uh, it's Sunday morning. Hey, so Tuesday night, Tuesday night is, is the Christmas Eve show. Christmas Eve show. Hey, while I have you guys here, while there's 560 of you here, hey, thank you so much, Memo Grand, for the donation. I appreciate that, Memo Grand. Thank you. Thank you. While I have 560 of you here, 557, I have a question for you. So Christmas Eve, what time should we start the Christmas Eve special? I'm thinking, because remember, like, we're U.S.-based, so probably... 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Eastern time, right? 7 or 8 Eastern time sounds right to me. What do you think about that? Eight Eastern? I think nine is too late. I think it's gotta be seven or eight Eastern time. I think most people are saying eight. Most people, more people seem to be saying eight. Eight, eight Eastern, <laughs> Daniel says eight Pacific. Okay, maybe we'll do, we'll do 8 p.m. It sounds like people want 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Generally, not everybody, but that's, that's what we'll do. Jay Marie says, I'll miss it. I'm on the West Coast. Well, we'll be on for a little while. Christopher Lund says people will show up whenever. Yeah, it sounds like people uh, want 8 p.m. Generally speaking, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern, I think, because 9 p.m. Eastern is too late for people. I, I don't want to make it too late to start, so we'll do eight. We'll do we'll do 8 p.m. Now that this was good, this was good enough. It's I'm not doing a poll because I, I it's not a, a big big a, it's not a very big option. I, I'm going to start it at seven or 8 p.m. So I think 8 p.m. is good. Because then it's five on the West Coast. McFly, if you want to know about the cooking stuff, rewind like two hours. I'll, um, maybe tomorrow, I got to, actually, I have to make up a thumbnail. That's what I got to do. I got to make up a thumbnail for the Christmas broadcast. Um... Uh, I got to make up for thumbnail for the Christmas broadcast and then send out something about it tomorrow. So I got to do that as well. Hey, I'm glad you like the audio, William. Yeah, it's much better with the microphone. It's, it's amazing how much difference having a microphone makes. Hey, I'm glad you like the audio. I like to, I like to listen to it for a second. Hold on a second. Hang on. How much difference having a microphone makes. It's such a difference. It's crazy also because I don't have like stuff on the walls in this room to absorb the sound. It's just like a room. <laughs> but uh, it takes away the whole, all the echo is, is gone from just having a microphone rather than using the webcam mic. It's crazy. But the, we, but the suggestion to use cardioid mode was the best one. Yeah, if 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 you want to remind, I mean, if you want to, if you want to, if you don't, it's interesting to go back after you listen to this. Go back and check out like one of the old videos, and just you can see the difference is insane. Smurf says, "I never thought I would be watching this long, little on live streams about cooking, yeah, or about nothing." Christopher says, I have soundproofing material that goes on walls if you need it. Thanks, Christopher. I, I have sound stuff in my studio, stuff, some dampening stuff. So, But I, I, guess I don't really need it here. I, 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 it's not my place, so I'm not going to be nailing stuff into the walls anyway. Thank you, Christopher, though. Wow, I can't believe people haven't left yet. I'm just, I'm stunned people haven't, all, haven't just all left the stream. I can't believe it. I, I, I don't know what to say about this. I think 400 of the 553 viewers have fallen asleep or left their computer. 
Yeah, no road plate noise. That's really that's a that's a big difference. Now Jan says she's gone. I'm sure she's not actually. She'll be back in an hour. No, we got we got to wrap up the stream soon. We just have to. We have to wrap it up, guys. Come on, right? We got to wrap up the live stream. We got to wrap it up. Got to do it. Tim is still there. People want me to wrap it up, but they won't leave. Come on, guys. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Yeah, it's time, right? It's time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, guys. We can do this. We can all do it together. We can all wrap it up together. All right. So, um, Dr. Now, Dr. Memes has an interesting idea. Dr. Memes has a very interesting idea. That's why they call him Dr. Memes. 24 hour live stream. Now, by the way, the problem with 24 hour live stream is uh, you can't go longer than, I think, 12 hours on YouTube and have it be in the archives. So I think I'd probably want to cut it up. But that's the kind of thing I'd probably be, it'd probably be miserable. But if people would donate, I'd do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I knew people would support the channel, uh, then I'd do it for 24 hours. But otherwise, if, if I didn't actually make some of my expenses on it, then it would just be the most miserable thing in the world. HD says, I suggested that. Christopher Lund, Christopher Lund, will you, Christopher Lund, you are pledging right now, Christopher Lund, you are pledging to match donations on a 24-hour live stream? Also, what happens if there's news on agenda-free TV? What happens if there's news? How does that work? That's a problem. What I could do on the 24-hour live stream, if there's news, I could go to agenda-free TV but I don't think I can do it. I don't, I, I can't, no, I can't, I might be able to. I actually might be able to do this. I think I could leave this stream running. I don't know if I could. I might be able to leave the Lookner stream running and then, then just have the chair be empty while I'm in the other room reporting on Agenda Free TV. And then I could come back. Wow. That's very interesting. I hadn't thought about it. Uh, hang on. We might do that. That's an interest. That's a very interesting idea. That's a very interesting idea. Especially if Christopher Lund says he'll match the donations. Maybe I'll actually make the expenses back for the day. I'll have to think about that one. That would be interesting. It would be terrible. I would feel terrible, but it'd be, it would be very, very interesting to do. Oh, yeah, somebody said I could, I, could, uh, I could move the webcam if I go on Agenda Free TV and actually show me doing Agenda Free TV on this channel. Oh, thank you, Jordan's Life, for telling your mom about the channel. All right, well, that, that's something. I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, uh, I... All right. Christopher Lund says, I have given you a lot to think about. My day is done. Thank you for, thank you, Christopher. Thank you, Christopher, for all your generosity and all your support of the channel. I really appreciate it, Christopher Lund. Thank you. Uh, yeah, 24, a 24 hour live stream is very interesting. Veil Artist didn't know you were live all this time. Veil Artist, guys, two things. First of all, if you subscribe and you want to get notifications, make sure you've got the bell checked. Like, like ha over half of the viewers don't have the bell checked on YouTube. You have to subscribe and click the bell. So you have to subscribe and click this bell and then you click the bell and you choose all notifications, all. So do that, but also, there's also a Twitter where I literally only use it 
for posting about this channel that's called Lookner Channel, only notifications, Lookner Channel. So follow Lookner Channel on Twitter so you see notifications there. Lookner Channel on Twitter. The only thing I do is post notifications. And you should sign up for the Discord where the uh, Agenda Free TV and Lookner Fan unofficial Discord um, because if you sign up, you get notifications uh, for this channel and Agenda Free TV. So I would recommend doing all those things to get notifications. Somebody can post the uh, Discord address. I think I have it. I'm sure one of the moderators will do it. I think this is the Discord link. The unofficial, I don't run it, uh, but the unofficial Discord. I think that link will work. Yes, that's the link that Upstate Dad posted. So I, 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 I always feel bad like when someone like Vale comes on and says, I didn't know you were live. So, so make sure you're signed. If you, if you, if you want to get notifications, you're not getting them. Check your YouTube settings. Follow, agenda, uh, follow Lookner channel on Twitter and sign up for the Discord. Thanks, Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie said I did it. Thank you, Anne-Marie. But the, the Discord notifications are linked to my Twitter, to, to the Lookner channel Twitter. So whenever I send, the fine people who do the Discord have set it up. So whenever I send a Lookner channel notification tweet, you get that notification from Discord. And uh, hey, I really am making an effort to uh, to read the comments I, I, of, of these broadcasts. Um, so feel free after the broadcast, leave comments in the um, in the comment section if you have thoughts about anything we talked about, suggestions, whatever. I like to hear what people think. Also, I, I always welcome the thumbs up and the thumbs down if you. I mean, if, if that's what you think. But it's always good to the the likes and dislikes. Uh, easy way to leave feedback. But if you like the broadcast. Slap a like on it. I always like that. If you want. Oh, Mick Fly said, I didn't get a notification, but I forgot to do the bell thing. Yeah, it's like less than half the subscribers for the channel have actually like clicked the notifications bell and chosen all notifications. I can see the number. Same with Agenda Free TV. I got to say that on Agenda Free TV next broadcast. People that like that's like 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 like, like two thirds of the subscribers have not like chosen the bell and choosing all notifications. So you got to make sure you have that checked for the chan for both channels. But sometimes, yeah, as one of our viewers says, uh, James says sometimes the YouTube notifications are late. So so the um, the Discord notifications are, are good supposedly. And as Upstate Dad says, make sure you have YouTube notifications enabled on your preferred viewing device. For example, like on your phone, you have to make sure you allow YouTube to send notifications to your phone if that's where you want to get notifications. I agree with you, Upstate Dad. All right, let's see here. All right, guys, I think guys, I, I think it's I think it's time. I think I, I think it's time. Come on, we're almost at three hours. We're almost at three hours. I mean, how long are we gonna go here? We're just about at three hours. I think we have one more minute till three hours. I mean, you know, it's it's time. It is time for us to wrap up this live stream. So thank you all for uh, for joining for this stream. Uh, and again, uh, I hope to see a Christmas Eve live stream. And I like the idea of a 24-hour live stream. Maybe we, we might do that at some point. 
What a, what an event that'll be. That's for a, that's for after the holidays. That's for after the holidays. Twenty four hour live stream. That's a that's a crazy event. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, E one L one A S. Sorry, we're leaving as just as you get here. Hey, thanks guys for saying thanks. Uh, we got uh, thanks to all of our moderators again. Garth Russell, Upstate Dad, Freckles, Idaho Star, Linda Belk. Um, and uh, who else was there? Everybody else was moderating. Oh, Julie Graves. Julie Graves, thanks for the donation. Julie said, did you go back to the weird party last night? Julie, did you miss the part last night when I figured out on the air that, 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 oh, oh, no, you remember. No, I didn't go back to the other party. But you remember the, my, the building party I thought was last night was the night before. But I did, whatever that other party was, I didn't go. I, didn't, I did not go to it, Julie. So thank you for the donation, Julie. Did I get everybody who donated? Did I thank everybody? Let's see. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. I just did something wrong. If you just saw an ad, I hope people didn't see an ad. I accidentally clicked a button which said insert ad. So some of you might have just seen an advertisement. I, uh, sorry. Uh, I apologize if anyone just saw an ad. I accidentally hit the insert ad button. I'm sorry, it, it probably a few people saw it. That was not intentional, believe me. I don't insert ads during my broadcast. Uh, where is the okay I think I thanked everybody who donated I think I did just want to make sure I didn't I didn't miss anyone Tim as says, insert ads if you do a 24-hour stream. The problem is I don't want to insert. If people were watching a live stream, I don't want to make them watch an ad. All right. Hey, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you. We're going to wrap this up. We're over three hours. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time for me to watch some. It's time for me to watch some stir-fry videos. Hey, thanks, Dan Patch Videos. Dr. Meme says, credit me when you do it. Well, the other person said they thought of the idea too. But thank you, Dr. Meme, for the idea. Um, thank you, Arthur Cotman. Leanne says, if you do a 24-hour stream, please do it on a Friday or Saturday. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Thank you, Quiet Prayerful Times. Thank you, Don the OG. Thank you, Alibaba. Thank you, Summer F. Thank you, Memo Grand. Maria Fleming says the sun is coming up. I don't know where Maria Fleming is. Maybe she's in the UK. Thanks, Fahrenheit 451. Thank you, Monique Thompson. Thank you, Darth Grinch. Denise Brunson, I don't think I'll be back on this channel tonight, but if there is big news, I'll be on Agenda Free TV. Thank you, CJ. Thank you, Anne Marie. Thank you, I got rats. I got rats. If you want to know which lights these are, if you want to get to see the lights, Melpo lights, the link to the lights is in the description. Link to the lights is in the description. I wonder if this can I is the did I order the pan on Amazon? So I could put the link to that in the description. I don't think I ordered the pan on Amazon. What's the brand name? Miro. I think I got that at a store. No. Hey, thanks, Rick Hoppy. Oh, thank you, I Got Rats, for saying you'll click the link.
Christopher Lund is still there. Everybody's still there. No one will leave until I leave. And they, they end up hating me for it. They get mad at me. That's the problem. It's amazing. People can all be mad at me. Smurf is still here. Gosh. Don't be mad at me. Sharon is still here. Now, Christopher's leaving. Christopher's definitely leaving. Okay, Christopher. Yeah, Idaho Star says, I bet Misha is still here. All right, guys. All right, it's time. Guys, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. It's three, it's three minutes and four seconds. Three, three, three hours and four minutes. All right, Glow Ramia. Thank you for watching Glow Ramia 101. And thanks, Rob Van Roy. Rob, I think, is in the Netherlands. Thank you, Rob. Sorry, Mike T. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time. Hey, bye, Sniper Fox. Sable is still here. Bye, Jay Marie. Thank you. Yeah, Upstate Dad, I could have said I could have made 10 stir fries in the time we were here. That's true. Quiet, prayerful times. I was not leaving till I sign off. So I gotta go, gotta go. It's the, the natural length of the stream has reached its maximum. It's the right, it's the right time for everyone. All right, new F dog. All right, guys, it's time. You know it's time, guys. Let's do it. No, it's not. You're not gonna have a hot mic with this because I have a lovely, I have a lovely mute button on this microphone. I didn't have a mute button when I used the webcam, but I have a mute button on this microphone. Doctor Memes is nodding off. Thank you, Veil Artist. Sign up to the Discord now, Veil Artist. So you get notifications. Bye, Kristen J. See Michelle Sparks says, leave the chat up. No, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye, Monique Thompson. Bye, Tim Az. Bye, Leanne. Amazing Grace, I was leaving like an hour ago. It's terrible. It was time to go. I was leaving two hours ago. I was thinking of ending the stream about an hour and eight minutes in, and then it ended up going to three hours and eight minutes. Upstate Dad built a wooden box during the stream. All right, guys, that's it. That is it. Thank you so much for joining this live stream and hanging out uh, and helping me figure out what to do next about my cooking. I am going to go right now and watch some stir fry videos and get ready for the big stir fry live stream, which we will do sometime soon. So I'm wrapping this up. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Prof 420, I'm sorry, you're too late. You're too late, Prof 420. We're wrapping it up. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Oh, thanks to everybody who donated, by the way. That's really kind of you. Special thanks to Christopher Lund for your generous donations. But thanks to everybody who donated because that's how I can do both these channels full time. So thank you. And remember, the secret, the secret donation address, aside from YouTube chat room, is lookner.net. That's the super secret the super secret donation address for this channel. Um, hey, and uh, follow me on Twitter at Lookner if you'd like. All right, guys, that's it. I'm done. Rick Hoppy's going to go back and watch the first hour. Feel free to go back. Oh, I got I to gotta put in the YouTube cards on the broadcast, too. I got to do that. Bye, Le Petit Silver. Bye, everybody. All right, wrapping it up. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. We will see you soon on one of the two channels. Have a good night, everybody.